and that's how you go live on a Twitch channel. Oh. Tutorial, tutorial complete. I feel like I'm going, I feel like I've learned so much now in only three mm. seconds. Yeah. Now right? I so like, huh? Hang on. The mysteries of the universe. I gotta, I'm going to turn myself up a little bit, actually, for the stream. Hello, chat. All right. Hopefully I'm not peeking. Uh, yes. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you, Ad, for freebie uh, before the stream actually shows for me. Did you uh, tweet? Yes. Yeah, did you a mayor gave me a gift sub, so I don't need to. Oh <laughs> shit! Like watch ads. That's Ooh. the benefit of subscribing on Twitch. Is it a mayor? Slash the unexpectables, because then you don't have to watch ads. Yeah. Oh, I see. Also, you get sick emotes. Like I've never actually looked at the emotes for this channel. Hold on. Uh, this one. That's a. Th they're having a great time. Good old time. Yeah. Or I got so many emotes. Ah, oh, that's where this thing keeps coming from. Go get it, King. I should hashtag too. Hashtag that. Hashtag Fallout. I'm just gonna copy Connor's tweet. Indeed, this and we're hashtag this live on hashtag the Unexpectables. <laughs> this is how oh, you boy. internet. I am hashtag ready to go. I'm Indeed. Milk candy right I'm surprised now, you guys don't have really more emotes. Good. I feel like this channel should have like a billion of them, or like mm. you probably have like a bunch of slots open, don't you? Puts like, hand, puts hand under my chin knowingly. Interesting. <laughs> I can't uh, wait to see what might be coming down the tracks. I wonder on what these could be happening. Emotes that you can access when you subscribe to twitch.tv slash the unexpectables what benefits will you gain will you gain know. the benefit of never having to watch ads and using sick emotes like this one that holds a sign up that i can't quite read because of my old man eyes oh they're fantastic speaking of your old man eyes you could go ahead and have an ad-free experience at any time by hitting the subscribe button. It's larger for geriatric peepers. Uh, if you're, you know, a geriatric millennial or something. Ah, ah! Probably do need to see an optometrist. It has been a very long time. It wouldn't oh. suck. Wait. It oh, wouldn't God. suck. God, you're reminding me yet, too. But I got my eyes lasered, so they're still there. Oh, my. What? Well, you, you know it who... It sounds like you got them lasered out, not lasered. Well, you know who doesn't I'm have laser head. eyes? I... Who? Laser at my Who's McBalrog? Oh. <laughs> Where can we find you and what are you up to? Well, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Um, this week, Soul Hackers 2 came out, and I am in it. Um, you can find me as a demon gal and some other people that I don't remember the names of. So if you hear my voice, send me a video and I'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I, I am going to be streaming it tomorrow over on my channel. I'm going to be playing some Among Us with some of the Cookie Run Kingdom cast. Oh, shit. <laughs> so uh crumbs crumbs everywhere um we're gonna be doing that at uh 5 30 p.m in pacific time um and who knows what's gonna happen after that that's a me all right rabbit <laughs> where can they find you and what are you up to hi there i'm rabbit i'm a writer and comedian do you like the funny yes yeah. Do you like mm. retro games? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ah, cool. Do you like variety and funny and also retro? Yes. I got a deal for you. Come on down to twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit. We stream all throughout the week. We got all kinds of stuff going on over here at twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit. We got horror games. Bam! We got we got retro games, bam! We got RPGs, bam! What's gonna be played? We got RuneScape, we got Bat Mojo, we got really creepy games, big games, funny games, large games, small games, some as big as your head, some itty bitty. Come on down to twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit. Also, if you want, 
You can also check out my Twitter. I hate Mr. Rabbit as well. It's actually pretty uh, pug ears. So come on down. And uh, I'll be sure to entertain you with a good old funny time. There's me. You have Excellent. the energy of me at an anime con panel. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I want to see that now. Speaking of of I'd love to you, be Lanny, <laughs> where can they find you? And what are you up to? <laughs> you find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator here at twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. And while I'm not streaming a whole lot of my own stuff right about now, uh, tune in on Mondays because we have a little game we like to call the ties that bind that starts at five o'clock central time uh they're having to be diplom uh, there are diplomatic demons and that is a that's a wrinkle that the uh crew did not see coming so uh mm. see how they try to deal with uh di the diplomatic solutions to the demons that have moved into the north <laughs> diplomatic uh, demonology yep i <laughs> I, I wanted to I wanted to throw something out there and this is, true uh, this hell was a legally binding contract. To be fair, lawful evil. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Other than that, check out uh, youtube.com slash four star bento. We've been coming out with the Dragon Ball Z abridged creators commentary. Episodes two and three went up today. So if you ever wondered where did that scouter come from in episode three of DBZA? Probably still won't get an answer, but you can see me make fun of Kaiser for putting it in the show. Oh. <laughs> Scott. Ah, memories. That's me. Alrighty. Sarah, where can they find you and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H, Anthony Willia. Uh, yes, as Caitlin said, the Soul Hackers 2 came out, and I am also in. I voice Iho, and I also voice pretty much any iteration of Jack Frost that is included in the game at all uh, apparently that's a lot <laughs> um and uh there's actually another character i voice but for spoiler purposes i'm not sure if i want to say it yet i might wait Ooh. another week or two until oh, snap. fully Ooh. saying what the character is because i don't know how spoilery spoilery it is but you can find me as another character that is not a jack frost related demon this is it uh, yeah and uh, thursday me and rabbit did another spoopy game it actually was quite spoopy it's so fu oh my god, we're basically just holding each other's shoulders going, oh my god. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I was helping because I kept squeaking at every little sound that was not her running at us. And I was just you like, what are you not doing helping at? my anxiety. No, no, you weren't. <laughs> You know, and then it became funny again because it was she, so funny. It was so funny. You're like, what is that? And I'm like, a chain. You're like, oh, oh. You're laughing. You made fun of me. The, the sheet scared me. <laughs> the little bicycle with the little light on it rolled up real slow and suddenly there was a sheet and I got scared because it was like what was that I don't know Okay, Sarah welcome <laughs> to my life every moment yeah, seriously I want you to join us we uh, uh, join us it'd be so much fun we escaped uh, the grandma zone last scary. week uh, and I'm excited because uh, you know if Rabbit still wants to this following Thursday I because uh, I don't show for good old games, but good old games is having a massive freaking sale. And I basically was like, that mojo is $2. Here, Rabbit, have this. I've never played it. Like, I, I, I played, played all kinds of horror games, Fox. but not like DOS or PC horror I games. Don't, I don't. It, do, so. It's mm. weird because Bad Mojo, I technically would count as a horror game, but I it's sort of not your technical horror game. It's more like. I have to think. I don't want to drag too much time. Anyway, uh, I but yeah, we, we will uh, we will do that unless Rabbit changes his mind because I'm always saying I don't want to. I get too excited and be like, you should play this, you should play this, and be like, oh right, you want to play something? You want to choose something? It's fine. I I, I'm I, cool I have with everything. Down. Ask Connor. I'm easy going like a like a lazy river. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm I'm the donut machine on The Simpsons, just ramming donuts down your Ow. mouth, being like this this Ow, this, more. this this this. When anyway, you're gonna run uh, out and you're gonna be like, you should have exploded. What happened? Pretty much. <laughs> ah, but uh, yeah, that's about all I can think of. So yeah, that's me. Alrighty. Yeah, and they can find me. Or they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh. Do, 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 what's good? Do, do, do. I think. Probably this coming Tuesday, I'm going to be playing Shadow of the Colossus with Monty Clue. Ooh. Ooh. A classic. 
That's a that that's a, that's a vintage good game right there. Yep. I've also never played it before, so this will be my first experience Ooh. with it. Oh, you you're love gonna like it. it. I yep. love the feeling of like that. It's such a specific itch of like in-game problem solving. Like ah, it's so good. It's, you feel it's, so it's, good. It's 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 a, it's, a uh, it's basically a puzzle adventure game, but like the bosses are the puzzles. Right. Yeah, and you feel also, so a, fucking smart. Also, there's a horse. Hmm. Mm -hmm. he is a, Argo is a good horse. Mm -hmm. I'll go. I've heard Top that Argo five. is a good boy. Top five best horses in video games. Wow. Right. Indeed. Uh, Doctors hate I'll... number four. Indeed. <laughs> you won't believe number three. <laughs> if also... at number five, what? <laughs> oh, God. I will burn number down the Number two, <laughs> the horse from Berserk. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the PTSD hallucination of the horse from Berserk. <laughs> Best horse. Indeed. I love his tiny whittle hoof. I know also what be sure referencing. To, yeah. Be sure to check out my DMs Guild where I release 5th edition subclasses, including the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger, which is currently in production. All right. Uh, should I mention this now? Yes. Sure. Or no? I don't know. I'm, mention. I, mention. Yes. I, might yes. as well, mention. Might as well it. mention. Go. 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 Wait. Go. Uh, wait. Excuse me. Hold on. Now go. Yeah. Go Rabbit, now. The time Rabbit. is now. Hang on. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I might as well, I might as well say it now. Um. Oh terrifying. So. If the, I at least know that the Die Hard Dice code is changing. Uh, okay. Before, uh, I believe at the end of the month, the code for our Die Hard Dice affiliate will be changing. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know when we'll be getting our next code. So the thirty first, whenever you're, whenever you may or may not be seeing this, uh, the thirty first is the last opportunity for you to use the code unexpectables exclamation point. We're working on some things right now behind the scenes, uh, and we'll have more news for you soon. Okay. Wow, that's uh, why you said rabbit in a serious voice. All right. Until <laughs> then. The code unexpectables exclamation point is still good. But after okay. that, we will work on finding something else. Oh. The way you said rabbit sounded so dire, I was like, oh shit. Did I, I, know, I, 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 I honestly I didn't thought mean to well, it's because like, I need scores. to get a word in edgewise here. I, seriously, do you want a cat herding sound? I can look for one. I mean, I could, I could, ju I could just go <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> That's actually uh, that, really a yeah, yeah, I don't want to scare Caitlin, though. I think she'll be no, a better I, like, kitten. Connor I'll, say, Connor, I'll say as a point of marketing, that was really good. That's the most I've paid attention to that ad in months. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's because yeah, it wasn't like, the what, same. What is, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, but yes, uh, we, we will keep you updated on that front. Uh, but for right now, unexpectables exclamation point. Save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Do, do you still want me to yell it? Uh, I, th I think we'll move on to bits and subs for right now. We are 15 minutes Sounds over. good. Let's uh, go. Okay. okay. Lanny thank you for for the 15 months. Thanks to probably not a mayor for my gift sub. A hey. Roku. So confused there. I'm like, what I do? <laughs> Roku Shobo, thank you for the 100 bits. Hooray for Gateway. Can I get a Ric Flair? Woo! Woo! There you go. Indeed. Woo. Protoss 103, think of the five, but it's time for Gateway. Just watch last week's episode. Can't wait to see what happens. Kale Ward, think of the 13 months. Hmm. Uh, Renegade Spectre, think of the 13 months. Rags 18, think of the 1,050 bits. Uh, Apex needs more pelts for his outfit. I agree. Solar Mist, think of the 145 bits. Oh, God. Saturday, it's Gateway. 
Uh, also, Jehalem, it's August 31st. We are past the 21st. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the, the as far as we're as far as we're aware, the code will no longer be valid at the end of the month. And we'll work on getting a new code soon. Uh Scalfar, thank you for the 29 months. King Cat Goblin, thank you for the 100 bits. You guys have inspired me to make my own Fallout roleplay game based on how uh based on the now irradiated tropical hellscape that is Hawaii. Whoa. Ooh, uh interesting. Darn, Fallout Hawaii win. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, how's everyone's day's been? So mine's been pretty decent. Ace, he's been pretty all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Zombie Monster, thank you for the 25 bits. Hello, everyone. Now that I've caught up on the series, it's great to listen to while working. Right now, I'm going to listen to The Prince Division. Nice. Nice here. I make things up. Think of the 28 months, 28 months of madness. Let's kick the wasteland in its dick. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't the wasteland suffered enough? No. Oh, it needs well. more CBT. <laughs> Cognitive behavioral therapy. Yup, that's exactly what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's the they have the same. So yeah. I know. <laughs> Crippled by. Land mines. Wait, trip mines. There we go. There we are. <laughs> the T is uh, silent in land mines. Indeed. Like like Pteranodon. Uh Reasonable Rex, thank you for the one hundred bits. It's a reference that you may not get, but Sarah, what was Louise's result on the goat? On the goat? I don't know the oh, reference. Explain the, the goat, reference. the general occupational aptitude test. Yeah. Fallout 3. Oh, I'm bad. I need to play Fallout. Took me a minute to get it. Maybe we could play it together soon. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Which, but which Maybe. one? Maybe. Hmm. We'll find out. Is that, is that like New the Vegas optimal one to start on? Is the third one? Because the, the third the, one's the pretty damn in... good, but New Vegas yeah. is universally accepted to be. I mean, the, the completionist in me, the completionist in me, like wants to go all the way back because I do own the first Fallout. I just haven't played it. The first two are are very old games and yeah. do not play yeah, well not. with modern hardware. Yeah, but, <laughs> but they're also very good. They uh, are shorter. They they have a good story. Oh God, no. But man, do uh. three and. Three New Vegas and four just have a much better play feel. Oh yeah, <laughs> they are mm -hmm. archaic. Uh, oh, Goss yeah. twenty one. They... Think of the five bits. Uh, I heard if you play Devils Never Cry, Connor breaks down and sings it. Uh, maybe. I, Wait, I can't what? help myself. It's a reflex. Is it? Yes. Dark Souls with light. <laughs> Still uh, one of my favorite video game moments. <laughs> I should be the one to fill your dark soul with light. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> King time. Big for the 500 bits. What sort of wacky antics are the game gonna get up to today? Will Cynthia pay back the war crimes she's committed to Apex's what? ice cream, or what? will no. she see more Geneva suggestions? Let's find out. Uh, uh, you will pay for your crimes. I will not. That ice cream costs money. I just you deserve you need it. To, but I just want to be paid back for the things you've done. No. You're mean today. Go fight a tree. I will. <laughs> hey, Apex, I found a tree for you to fight. I'm going to go kick that thing's ass. Go get it, buddy. Or trunk. I'm going Infinite Kitty. Thank you for the <laughs> 27 months. Hell yeah, more time for Gateway. Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. I want a clown super mutant to be in the game. Uh, Are you sure? Yes. No. Call him Mr. Bungles. <sighs> Mr. Bungles died for I refuse. sins. It would be like Mr. Fleshy or something. Like they're very, I, they're very obsessed with their gore bags. It's funny how excited Ooh. I am for the killer clowns from Outer Space game, but also I have vis visceral reactions to clowns because they frighten me. You just, the, you just the caves. Clown killer clowns. <laughs> The clowns from Killer Clowns don't even look human, though. Oh, like, human that does clowns not matter. Are creepy. <laughs> yeah, it, it oh, sort of helps. It does help. 
It's anyway. weird that all my friends hate clowns, and I'm like Nathan Explosion. I'm like, clowns are cool. I fucking love clowns. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I watched. We, you I started watched... talking about the killer clowns thing, and I I felt like one was behind me. Did I'm, your oh, did your let's did your tendons fucking melt again? Not yet. If you I, play that reverse fart, I wonder noise, how much of a correlation there is to people. <laughs> the who night are is still of young. To <laughs> children who watch Stephen King's It as a child. <laughs> Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. Chased by to death claws. Chaos of a dudes, thank you for the 5 bits. Can't wait to use code fart with reverb to get my next pair of tie hard oh dice. Oh my god. Hey, there's a chance. There is. I, if, yeah. if I'm in control, anything goes. <laughs> oh boy. You choose your own code? Uh, maybe. We'll find out. Mm. Uh, Roku Shobo, thank you for the 100 bits. The Apex Issue 6, Vengeance. Soft served, cold. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that made me happy. All righty. And with that, are you guys ready to kick, kick it in the overdrive? Kick it in the Let's dick? Let's do it! You bet My your cat. ass I am. Let's go ahead and rock its wiener. I am well, prepared. That's a different thing. Okay, bye chat. Goodbye! Let's rock the Casbah. Uh, so da, 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 da. All right. Okay. Gotta put on my this voice. Rabbit, you're still Scoop Cat. Oh, Scoop Cat. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. <laughs> When last we left the runaways, Apex the wild man, Alvin the mechanic, Louise the scavenger, and Cynthia the nurse, they managed to meet up with a group of slaves, and even some non-slaves in Westport that were looking to free themselves from their status and live as equals in the once thriving town. After meeting Mikhail, the group's leader, the gang hashed out a few ideas as to how they could achieve their mutual goals. After opting to wait and see what Big O could offer them, and after some tense words with a double agent from the family, the group left, heading to their destination in downtown St. Louis to meet up with their expedition leader, Baker, and fulfill one last favor for him. They caught the archers winding down after a long day. They opted to stay the night, postponing their meeting until the morning. What would elate them at the break of dawn? Find out on tonight's episode. Of Gateway. I heard the narrator in my dreams again. <laughs> Why does he always have a weird filter? What the fuck? You heard it too. Oh, I thought that was just, you know, just the sound effect of all the cycle I took. <laughs> <laughs> so we awake <laughs> and dawn does in fact set upon you all obviously Cynthia is the first to be up and about how did As her patrol I go last don't night don't sleep went just fine I walked around with uh, Gomez one of the guards and Looked at the base and made a couple friends. That's about it. The Apex Six sits up and starts sniffing around for food. Oh. <sighs> Louise just kind of groans. Oh, I feel like I slept on a plank of wood. Looks at you the bench. You didn't sleep on a piece of wood. Damn it. <laughs> Gets up. She sort of like takes a moment, wrinkles her nose, and then sniffs herself. Oh dear God, I smell like sewer. Uh, is there, who's around here anyway? Um, you appear to be, uh, you appear to actually be alone at this point in the day. Ugh, just think they had a place that someone could get a shower. Just smell like after Dankin' Road. 
Are there any guards to overhear that? Or would Cynthia know since I walked around the base? Um... Go ahead and roll me uh, wits to see if you you saw anywhere around here. Seven. Um. Let's see. Where are you? You are at the arch grounds. Uh, you saw a couple of like abandoned businesses where someone could go and like run the sinks and, and wash themselves off that way, but no actual showers that you would have access to. Hmm. I'd have thought a place like this. It's all military and stuff would have like shower stalls or something that you have access to. Ugh, really? Do I You're not archers. Food? I know, Are but there any share the stall <laughs> present in the room that we could ask. Um, there are a couple of guards outside that are, uh, just sort of keeping watch outside of the store. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna go approach one of them. Just be like, uh, hey, morning. Morning. Um, listen, I, I know I'm not, you know, officially one of you guys, but, um, s sort of takes a piece of her hair and gives it a slight whiff and, like, tosses it away. So wouldn't mind if there's a place I could maybe just get a shower. It's not like a rat roach farted on my head. Make a charm roll. Oh, fine. And it's my worst one. This is uh, minus one. Yeah. Right, let's see. Ten! Ooh! Ooh! He, he takes I a look at... Shower. He takes a look at you and he goes... Oh. Yeah, it's not... Not very flowery. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll escort you. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> keep keep watch. I'll be back. I'll wave to the rest of them. I'm just gonna go use the facilities. I'll be back in a few. You got it. Have a good time. I'm looking around like a bloodhound for food. <laughs> uh, you remember the cafeteria area was uh, pretty close by to where you're at right now. Uh, I head that way. The wafting scent of uh, oatmeal and uh, cooking meats pervades the air as you make your way towards the cafeteria. I loom in the doorway, ready to make a <laughs> conquest of this cafeteria. <laughs> You catch the eyes of a couple of people who are um, either getting ready for or just getting off of their shifts uh, that are sleepily shoveling oatmeal into their mouths and uh, drinking some coffee. They they eye you for a moment and then they're like, mm, and then they get back to focusing on their food. Uh, there is a line for the... Food, but if you stand in it for a while, you 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 get served. I stand in line. <laughs> I wait silently, holding my tray. That is generally how lines work. <laughs> it is a intriguing sight watching the apex wi wasteland wild man waiting patiently in line for his food, and <sighs> you you are in fact served uh, a a single bowl of. Uh, mostly unseasoned oatmeal. Uh, probably, probably made with some razor grain as well. Uh, you would also receive like a like a dehydrated milk ration. All right. And what else would they give you? Uh, they probably give you some strange looking sausage links. All right, I, uh, I guess I eviscerate this mute fruit that I have, and I just kind of put that in my oatmeal. 
give it a little <laughs> zhuzh. Fair enough. And uh, I consume. It's it's nothing special, but it's sustenance. The the mute fruit that you put into it. Uh adds a bit of a uh almost apple-y taste to it, I would say. Nope. Apple cinnamon. Yeah, I'll probably minus the cinnamon, but we're going Yeah, to probably it. definitely minus the cinnamon, all, but all all goes with the uh Yeah, you know, I guess it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half stars on Yelp, you know. <laughs> Three and a half stars. It was food. Yeah, I uh, eat and sustain myself. There you go. Cynthia will walk Dave also to the cafeteria and kind of give a little glance at Louise like oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with Dave uh uh well, and, I went to you know, I went to go use a shower so I'm good oh shit that's right day and off I'm waiting for I'm, the narrator I'm, to tell me to come back I'm imagining my ta my table is relatively empty so if they approach I just gesture oh. towards empty chairs <laughs> they approach Dave uh. with the tray of food more than likely and Cynthia with nothing I offer him half of my mute fruit. Yeah, you are left alone uh, as you sit until you are joined by your companions. Roll for friendship. <laughs> I, 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 I offer him half the mute fruit. It, he... makes the, it makes the gruel taste better. Cynthia, are you doing the thing with the two dolls where you just push their faces together going like, now be friends! Mm. Mm, if I admit to it, does that mean yes? I mean, in most cases, <laughs> you're like that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Okay. Then yes. I wait for him to respond. I am simply sitting there with a held out mute fruit. He takes it and he looks at it for a moment. Um, thank you. I appreciate I that, Apex. <clears throat> and he'll take like a plastic knife and he'll he'll saw he'll like cube it and put it into his oatmeal as well it will help you grow stronger uh -huh. at the very least it'll keep me from starving to death uh -huh. cheers I tilt my head slightly cheers Dave looks over. Cynthia is resting her head on her her hand under her chin. Her eyes are red, and she's just dreamily watching Dave cut up a mute fruit. Apex, meanwhile, just seeing you sitting at the table is slowly like kind of like curling his arm around his bowl so you can't shove it off the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she's not she's not even clocking that Apex is there. She's just totally entranced by watching Dave eat. Oh, you're, you're one of those people. Yeah. I subconsciously protect my food nonetheless. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Alright, and you two eat I heard Let's... that uh, Louise is getting a shower. I didn't know if y'all wanted to uh, take care of that. I'd imagine that's why no one else wanted to sit here. You think that's the only reason? No, but I think it would be the main one at the moment. I sniff myself. You smell a bit pooey. It's normal. Mmm. Right. You should take a shower. I don't want to, though. Cynthia's eyes turn red. She Apex's and eyes to narrow. To have the conversation <laughs> turns back to red. Apex's eyes narrow. 
Dave slides looks. slides my bowl slightly closer to me. <laughs> Dave looks from side to side. Um. Do what you want. Fades I nod back and continue to eating. <laughs> What's Alvin and up so, to? And so you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm comfortable. Alvin, what are you up to? Uh, I was going to say, considering, you know, I'm a human and uh, we need to eat, I'd probably go ahead and also get food. I just imagine you there approach you the table at this awkward <laughs> intercept. Alvin, you walk in on a scene of... of uh, Ape, Apex uh, shoveling food into his mouth while while staring uh, alertly at the other two sitting with him. Where Cynthia's eyes keep phasing in and out of blue and red. So, uh, you having a battle of wills in there, Cynthia? Or what's going on? Apex will not take a shower. I smell oh. normal. He does not. Yes, I How do. No, he does not. Dave, okay. tell him. I look at Dave. Yes, what do you think? <laughs> My eyes locked on his. You know, that oatmeal looks appetizing, and I'll go ahead and just grab a tray and get <laughs> I'm locking. Yep. Dave, tell him. Your olfactory senses are functioning properly. Yes, I know. Um... He smells of human fecal matter. And uh, gore! Don't forget the gore! Unblinking eyes locked. <laughs> well... He still uh, has the blood of a radroach on his neck. That is true. That's my blood. Oh. <laughs> you ate its head. Because somebody wasn't watching. It is not Wait. my fault that I do not produce heat. Uh, Eyes relapsed well. on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... You know, maybe cleaning the wound wouldn't hurt. Intimidation! Right. <laughs> 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 what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation! Cynthia, Cynthia notices and will immediately also try to intimidate. What does it take for that? <laughs> for you, for it's you, a charm it would, roll. Yeah, for you, it's a charm roll. For Apex, it's special. And she's uh, trying to intimidate Apex with this. Okay. Oh, that's that's going to be something Eight. different. What do I roll to contest being intimidated? Also um, intimidated? I guess you're trying to keep your composure against being intimidated. <laughs> I guess that would be a wits sure. roll? Wits? Already? Because your, no! your ego is acting defensively. God damn, you have plus three wits as well? Of course you do. I, I, I meditate every day for it now. It is there part of go. my preparation. Well. Oh, discipline. Your your cold machine stare does not sway the apex, and uh, Dave looks nervously back at you and looks back at apex, and is like, well, um... Uh, cleaning the wound might help. This big nervous smile. Cynthia's eyes immediately go blue. Apex, you haven't cleaned that out yet? I kind of look down. Apex. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go clean it. And I shuffle away from the table. Okay. Can after, I... sc after scarfing down the rest of my oatmeal like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Can Louise come back at this point? I feel like it's been long yeah. enough. Louise, you are... With a towel around your head. <laughs> oh, God. Louise, you feel uh, refreshed. Your, your, 
your shower wasn't exactly what you would call uh, warm. It was more like a a, a body temperature cold? shower. It wasn't a oh. cold shower. Oh, okay. Uh, but it, so they semi have heating. They they've done the bare minimum to make it a a, a not cold shower. Oh, I'm doing that's the nice. sad Charlie walk. Uh, Charlie Brown walk past you as I head to the shuffle to the showers. Oh, hey Apex! You know they actually made it so it's not completely cold. It's nice. I think give it a go. Good morning. <laughs> kind of looks at you. Okay. I'm gonna go clean my wound. Oh. Do I, do I smell okay? <laughs> looks at him quizzically, but obliges to lean in and give a sniff. A little right, buddy. And again, being in the sewers didn't help any of us none. I glance back at the table. And I look back and I just kind of like subtly nod and I walk off. Aww. You you walk past the guard that, that Louise had uh, oh, no. convinced. And he goes, follow me. <laughs> I follow. And he takes kind of, you off. Kind to... of sliding my feet the way along the way. I guess if Al, I guess if, I, sorry. I guess if Alvin is still uh, in the line for breakfast, I'll join him there. Ah, man, I feel better. Oh, well, that's pretty good. You look a yeah, little better too. All refreshed and glowing like a glowing like a rad flower out of the bushes. Cynthia's ears perk. She immediately looks over at eight, at uh, Louise and Alvin. <laughs> I'm in your brain. I'm in your head. Glowing. I just imagine she's sitting looking forward, but her head just does a 180. I would I'm imagine sitting. it is just her head turns like like the mon a monster from Evil Dead. Right, that's just, what like, I thought too. <laughs> and nobody pays any mind to it. It's just hearing, a thing. Hearing Alvin complimenting Louise immediately turns. <laughs> Glowing. That's not a phrase I get her to get attributed to me. And she, cause she's, cause my hair is all wet. And I think it's been long enough that since the haircut that Apex gave me, that it's finally getting back to that scraggly look in the, in the actual, you know, promo pick art. So it's yeah. sort of like, Oh, well, I guess the shower does that for you. You might want to take up on that. Cause um, oh, she leans it. She leans in and gives him a sniff too. Yeah. You ain't quite right. You ain't quite ripe yet, but you're going to get there soon. Oh, absolutely. I was figured I'd go ahead and get into it. Fill the stomach, then go ahead and scrub off. Oh, yeah, it's true. What's good? But uh, you're not uh, But you're not glowing, you said? You're not glowing? <laughs> no, it's just that never had that attributed to me. So well, it's kind of new. Well, if you're not glowing, <laughs> that means a water safety shower. And <laughs> you know, what? Alvin slaps his knee. <laughs> just, uh, like anyway. just like nudges him in the side. You give, you give and take so easily, Mr. Bronson. Absolutely, I do, Ms. Louise. Uh, the, uh, I don't know what that meat is, but just call my name. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, what did you say? They had, like, oatmeal and stuff? Yeah, oatmeal. Um, what appear to be some strange-looking sausage links. And um, uh, dehydrated milk is on the menu right now. Do they have any coffee? They do. <gasps> I'll have a large coffee, and yeah, those links and oatmeal sounds like a pretty substantial good meal. I'll get the same, honestly. And there you go. Free food cannot be turned down. There she is. Get yourself some delicious mole rat links. Oh, God, is that what it's it is? It's the mole rattiest. <laughs> it sure is. It's uh, the moliest. It's crunchy, I, even in milk. I'll you nod can't to stop it. <laughs> I'll nod to Cynthia, as, and uh, it's not Cynthia and Dave, as I said. Uh, is everything okay with Apex? He looked a little bummed coming out of here. He, I guess, got self conscious. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh is that? Oh, is that why you asked me how he smelled? Oh. Damn. Oh. Cynthia. Leave that poor boy alone. She actually mutters out loud. 
Oh uh, well, I, be, I mean, it'll be okay. Shower does wonders for sh showers does wonders for a person. So, yeah, maybe he just doesn't like it cold. But like I told him, they actually managed to get it not cold. I mean, it's not like you know, warm, warm, but definitely wasn't like oh my god, my my bits are freezing. Oh, well, that's a relief. <laughs> I guess you got more bits to worry about. <laughs> oh no, so what Apex? <laughs> I guess, I guess we do. Besides, I'd rather go ahead and scrub up before I talk to Baker. I don't want to go ahead and not see him for quite a few days and then go ahead and have stink lines running off me. I think he's heard about that much. Poor man needed some sleep. Oh, damn. He looked like he was beat half to death financially or bureaucratically. I'm not sure how it worked. Well, you run an organization like this. Imagine he has many sleepless nights. Well, that's for damn certain. I'll happily shovel down my coffee and my oatmeal and sausage, which probably is not a great taste combination, but it's Louise. Who cares? Maybe he's just been staying up all night thinking about Bryce Goddard and Nut. Or he show up at Riverside just patching themselves up last time, huh? I think there's some other things on his mind. Some of the guards were telling me that he's worried there might be something bad coming. They didn't want to tell me much more than that, but... You think, yeah. it, might, you think it might be the big fella from the arena? Mm, I don't think so. He didn't come this way, I don't think. What did they hand at? Or... I, huh. I, I don't know. They just told me they turned away a bunch of... The slaves that came through from the arena, there was, there's been a lot of extra pressure on the archers because he's worried, but mm -hmm. they haven't told me much more than that. I just know that there's some concern. I'm, I'm sure he'll enlighten us if it's something he can share. So Baker's worried that there might be a storm brewing. Some kind, but we're not going to find out till you all have finished eating and showering. Well, I've got two out of two down myself. You know... Cynthia, now that you mention it, when I when I talked to the archers back in Riverside briefly, they mentioned something about Well they basically said we weren't exactly square, but there might be something else we could we should do for them. I wonder if that's related. There's a little bit of concern with me about that. We're gonna start getting into some uh favors that we may not find favorable. But that remains to be seen, I shouldn't assume. I'm, yeah. not looking, I'm not looking forward to getting into more favors, personally. I was happy as a clam just going ahead and fix shit up in Riverside. Well, life got a lot more complicated than that now. Yeah, it drug me right back into what I used to do, that's for damn sure. Hopefully not the same. Hopefully not the same, indeed. <laughs> Woo! He'll just go ahead and just down the rest of his coffee. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get scrubbed up. Sounds like a plan. Mind your bits. Apps. All righty. Tintin's head pops up and she, like, like, j just desert ferret looking back and forth. Like, wh wh <laughs> Louise what? doesn't even clock this. She just jokingly calls out, tell that guard to keep his distance. He ain't a, he ain't a pervert, but he's a little too close for his own good sometimes. Oh, I got you. I'll keep a close eye on him. That's for damn sure. <laughs> hey, you the fellow who knows where the shower is? <laughs> she's laughing. She turns back and looks at Cynthia, and she's like, uh, you, you okay? Yeah, I'm great. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. You're worried about Alvin's bits. Uh, <laughs> now she's just like, what? Wait. No, I mean, I just saying the cold water's kind of cold bit, you know, got, right. they, they, right. they, they, they retract, you know, so, um, yeah. hmm, she's really confused now, like, <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it, just drink your coffee, honey. Uh, glances at Dave, like, what's happening? He's like, he's like sipping some of his dehydrated milk, and he's like, uh, sorry, I was focused on not being focused. That's called dissociating, Dave. Mm. Yeah, it just kind of didn't seem like a 
conversation I needed to butt in on. <laughs> right. I'm just nosy right. when it comes to them two. <laughs> I I prefer to give people their privacy, especially in matters like this. <laughs> Okay, I'm right here, guys. Teach your oatmeal, dear. (laughs) Apex walks back in. That guard kept staring at me while I showered. It was weird. Did you keep the armor on while you showered? Another one? Uh, Call me. (laughs) (laughs) I heard you were were the guy. I'm I'm sorry. I just want to imagine that none of my role was so good it accounts for everybody now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Dave, you want to get in on this? <laughs> Dave, if you're done, you might want to tail on before he, he decides to stop he, being nice. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll tag along, actually. And he... <laughs> and he Are you fucking kidding me? He takes his tray and he hobbles off and uh, chases after Alvin. This way to hygiene, Dave! I'm coming. Is Apex's armor wet? I would have removed it. Okay, just checking. Did you remove the mask? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to wash the paint off of it. (laughs) Okay, just checking to see how close to clean Apex is now. Just to know. How dare, do you want to check my toothbrush too? Do you want to make sure it's wet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I do. Actually, look. Did any of you? Did any of you bring soap with you at all? No. I washed the grease from my body, and that I was, is all that happened. I was going to assume that these shower stalls had like some kind of soap access. If this guy is willing to let us use the shower, they must have at least some rudimentary soap. I will take a bar of soap on a string. It's fine. <laughs> soap is a hot commodity here in the wasteland. Uh, uh, I have a gallon of chlorine. <laughs> if you want. No. <laughs> I'll take, not, look, I'm not sure, to bleed, not sure I'm traveling down that path. If if your skin's burning, that means it's working. Only. It cleanses oh, no. the bacteria. <laughs> Oh, the Apex has got to wash that wound out. He just sticks sticks his foot in the bottle of bleach. Is this, <laughs> this is only supposed to happen? Just pulls oh, it up. It's a skeletal foot. He's like, ah. This burns about as much as I expected. Oh, my God. Uh, so how's your foot looking, Apex? That's where you got bit, right? It's fine. Gives him an eye. Can we see? I... I show the I show the rad roach bite wound. It's, Cynthia checks it over. Uh, make a smart roll. Um, how smart am I? That many. Twelve. You are twelve smart. Um, wow. <laughs> Caution, Kali G. Apex, can you just go ahead and make a body roll for me real quick? Just to, yeah. just to check. Eleven. On my body roll. Uh, it looks clean. Hey. I have All a right. very good immune system. Good. Yes, it good. is not infected. A few. Well, looks like you did all right. Just gives good. Apex get Pex a smile. It's like, wasn't so bad, was it? No, it was fine. Okay. Now I am clean. Gives gives him a pat. Okay. Hey, think of it this way. We won't have to do it again for a while. Not. Cynthia, Cynthia looks over at Louise like, why would you say that? Do you actually say that? No, she just gives her a look like, now he's not going to want to take one for like three months. She's like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> catches her look and she's like well, I get the feeling that Apex is the type who doesn't just showers are not the forefront of his mind okay Positive and let's be honest reinforcement. And let's be honest also in the wasteland it ain't like we're gonna come across working showers that often anyway you're not wrong 
I'm a scavenger. I mean, let's, I'm used to going a while without getting my bits freshened, you know what I mean? Uh, I wish I didn't, but yes. Grins to herself. <laughs> A few more moments pass, and eventually <laughs> Alvin and Dave uh, make their way back to you all. All right. How y'all doing? Alvin just slicks back his wet hair with a hand, just... Think of it, Connor, but does Cynthia's clothing smell? Does does the clothing smell, or was it just like the the collective now that we've aired out our clothes, our clothes are fine, but it was just like needing to shower? Uh well. Hmm. You you weren't like laying down on us on the sewer grid. Oh, that's right. Okay. You were you were mm-hmm. just you were just in the sewers with everybody else. Um, the parts it, didn't right. reach you. Yeah, you don't reek, the stank but you, didn't reach. Yeah, you don't you don't reek, but you know, ain't great, but manageable. Yeah, got it. <sighs> well, it's been a while since Wonderful. I've had one of those. Oh, how. I didn't even think about that. Did they not have facilities at the uh, the arena? Well, I mean, no, not really. That's not. I I guess not really what the arena was mostly for. Whenever the slaves stunk, they just threw buckets of water on them. I see. Huh. Well, I just I just used a sink. Well, at least there was that, but but I'm glad you all got to clean up a bit before we go see uh, Expedition Leader Baker. Nah, seems flat. I figured it'd be the proper thing to do, personally. Well, they did have showers. It was a sports arena. I was just had my mind occupied with other things at the time. Mm. Maybe they're just holding. Maybe they're just holding the showers out on you. Like you know, climb up the ladder high enough. We throw in a shower for you. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> I was a glorified prisoner. Right. So they gave you access to a sink, and that seemed like a lot of time. Well, I just used what I had, actually. You know. Right. You know, it seems like a damn shame. Cornerstone of civilization, being cleanly and all. Gives Alvin a look. You should talk to Boss Man, see if you can make a project to make one of them showers in Riverside or something. We have river sh- we have showers in Riverside, don't we, Connor? Uh, you're right next to the river, so everybody actually just uses that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we bathed in the river. <laughs> uh, we yeah, you did. We honestly just ended up just bathing in the river for the most part. No, no, I remember. Apex nods. <laughs> <laughs> remember that ass anywhere. <laughs> oh right, that. Uh, <clears throat> what Louisa always appreciates aesthetics. What? It's just two naked dudes washing each other in the river. Come on. Anyway, we should probably get going to Expedition <laughs> Baker just so we can uh, learn whatever it is we need to. Natural. <laughs> 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 Anyway, Let's go to expedition breaker. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> why, did you, why did you just pocket sand us with a roll? With a roll? Did I roll? You did. That was a while. That was a while ago. Wait, that no, was the uh, that. am I sick body check? Oh, okay. I got conf- what? I'm so confused. I thought <sighs> it was a roll. Okay, yes. Let's Let's even if you see- pocket sanded Cynthia, it wouldn't work. <laughs> no, yeah, I thought he ninja like, us with a roll. They need to be like tiny magnets. Yeah, something, you know. Let's go ahead and see Baker, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Chugs the last of her coffee. All right, you finish up with your breakfast, and you get ready to head out to see Expedition Leader Baker, and you are escorted back to the old courthouse by a couple of guards. Um, nice. Let's see, let's see. Music. 
This it. Yeah, we'll go with this. Lower the volume a bit. Unless chant can't hear it at all. In which case, I will I bump it up a little bit. Yeah, I can't really hear it. Yeah, I can't really hear it either. Ah, it might, it might just have like a really quiet beginning. Oh, there it is. I can hear there it. There it is. Oh, that's pleasant. This is lovely. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like the ear. You are escorted back up to the old courthouse where uh, you hear a lot of uh, a lot of general goings about of people coming and going as they please. Minus the phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody that and really likes ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you are led back up to the office of uh, one Samuel Baker, who, uh, as you walk in and are greeted by his uh, lovely face, and I'll, I'll show it again here. Aww. Gonna... He has such like, a yeah, kind yeah, face. Show it. Such a lovely fella. <laughs> Such a lovely face. Once so again, like uh, a lonely place. given to us by brother. Dark E Arts, and yeah, he does look a bit Wolfgangish, like a like a modern cousin <laughs> like, of his. Whoa, this is I, the I alternate like, universe. This is Gang Wolf. <laughs> I like to imagine that, like between Baker and Bach, it's like Baker's like the good boy that your parents really like, but Bach's the bad boy with the eyes that you're just like. I know he's not right for me. I know he's not right for me, but damn it all. I can fix him by Joe. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> His thighs don't lie. <laughs> His nose don't go. The, the early morning stubble from Baker's face uh, not shaven, and he eyes you expectantly as you uh, walk in. He says, come in, come in. Well, good morning. Hopefully I make my way to my corner. Rest. <laughs> Morning. Out of there, sir. Yes, I was informed that you arrived last night. I appreciate you uh, waiting for me to catch up on some sleep. Well, we needed it too, so. Hmm. I'm sure you did. It was a hell of a thing you pulled off. <laughs> I'll say well, I couldn't uh, have done without your boys. I'm I, I believe so. Yeah, they made a hell of a difference. They're doing okay, just in case. Just in case you didn't know, they're still I was just, up down the Riverside. I was about to ask. It's good to know. Yep, all three are just accounted for. They just got some bumps and scuffs. They're just working through, and they'll be back to you in no time at all. Hmm. That's good to hear. They're good men. Sure. Some of my best. But I loaned them to you because I had faith in their abilities and because you've shown me what you're capable of at the brewery. Right. That was a time. Alvin I just has a, Alvin just kind of has a, a stone face. Yes, sir. You are, uh, early, all things considered. We stayed it's good. the night so that we'd be up early. Oh, I, I think I, he means in general. In, oh. yes. Uh, I expected you to take a few more days to yourself, but now that you're here, well, I suppose uh, this. Oh, you may have heard also, we've got, um, some, uh, Really good transportation now. So I was informed you have a working Corvega. Drives pretty nice, too. Yes, sir. You know, I've heard tale that working cars in the wasteland aren't too common a sight. That is quite the find that you've managed for yourselves. 
It's not quite a vertebrate, but it's something. Vertebrate? I don't know if I've come across one of those yet. Does that mm. word mean anything to me with my brotherhood connections? Uh, roll a smarts plus one. Okie dokie. 14. Damn. So yes, I know exactly what those are. Yes, you would know that vertebrates are old, uh, old military transport units that flew through the air. Uh, and the Brotherhood of Steel has mostly, uh, kept those, uh, safeguarded so that they can easily traverse over the United States, uh, with great speed. All right, just making sure Apex knows what they are. I say yes. nothing. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Uh... Well, I suppose, since we're all being punctual here, I might as well cut to the chase. You've shown me you're willing to go all out and put your lives on the line for something that you believe in. Mm -hmm. Right. And... Well, I entrusted the lives of my men to you. And while I couldn't be there myself, I feel as though it might be something like an extension of myself. Great trust was... Great trust was placed in you, and now I'm hoping I can place that trust in you again. Is this about... The bad thing you think is coming? He tilts a head, his head towards you and raises his eyebrow ever so slightly. Well, I don't rest. I was walking around and while the guards were quite cryptic, they said things have been a bit tense. Feeling that uh, they might need to prepare for something. Yes, you're uh, one of your, your guy, uh, Bryce, I believe. Mentioned yes. something. Mentioned something about maybe you needing us to do another favor. And I was hearing oh. second hand from them that you're worried about a some kind of storm coming, some something brewing in the wind. Well, you're as perceptive as my soldiers are, then. Yes, there are moves that are being made, as far as I'm aware. By who? And is this why you called us? Yes. The Harbingers, that group of ghouls and their leader, cut across through to the old airport. And as I hear it, they're making eyes on pushing into the city. This city. Yes. Well, one of our men just went to go check in on the Harbingers. He raises his eyebrow again at you. One of your men. An ally. I see. Have you learned anything? Nothing yet. We <sighs> parted ways at the same time. It might be a while before we hear anything. They've been passive with us. Don't know how that might be towards y'all, but... You have reason to think they might be aggressive, or maybe they just want to, I don't know, we see about sudden uh, here. We had similar enemies at the time. Hmm, I see. That makes sense. 
Well, you should know that not terribly long ago, they were reportedly attacking caravans. It was? Supposedly to gather supplies for themselves. Was that the work of the family, though? Yeah, family sounds like the one who are the caravan robbers. You're saying the harbingers moved in, uh, moved in on that? Why would the family need to rob caravans? They had more resources than they needed. I, exactly. You, mm. I thought at one point we had come across some harbingers that they had put bomb collars on. Forcing them to work for them in a way. We did over in Earth City. Yeah. Bastion remembers maybe, the Meyer lurks. Maybe they're being portrayed as the perpetrator? Hmm. Might be. Might not be. I'm taking that uh I'm taking that you're banking on the might not be, sir. Do you have any How? evidence about it? It's better to err on the side of caution in these cases, and I suppose I don't know for sure, but from what I gather, these were first-hand accounts. People who have been oh. robbed of their supplies. No Just robbed? Colors. We don't know. Were you respond? Sorry, were you responding to Cynthia or me? Uh, says to Cynthia. He doesn't know if there were any bomb collars on them. Were they? Was anyone killed, or was it just Robin? Ooh. A few people were injured, but as far as I know, there were no fatalities. What what sort of supplies are they taking? You name it. Food, Brilliant. weapons, ammunition, clothes. Everything. I take it there's not a lot of free trade with ghouls around these parts. As far as I'm aware, ghouls aren't exactly looked f upon favorably by most people. Uh, I mean... The need for robbery. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, they're not hopefully killing anyone. It might just be that they're desperate. Could be you might be able to set up diplomatic relations with them. Are these people, these people who got the hit and run, they still, uh, they still in the area? Or are these, uh, accounts? This was, to, uh, this was on? years ago. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. I see. But they I push, the but they push from the spirit of St. Louis airport past vault 85 and into Lambert. Oh. And that is... Well, that is no small base of operations they've made for themselves. Not at all. So you're worried that they're going to keep on pushing and go ahead and try to bully on over? I don't know what they're up to, but I've heard reports that scouting parties of theirs have started putting their feelers out in the direction of the city. So, what, do you want us to check it out? Like, ask them what they're doing? No. What I have for you is something entirely different. Oh. What was that? That's not to mention the other parties. What other parties? Let's just say there was a reason the Brotherhood of Steel was sitting on this place for so long. And that would be? I'm gonna guess it's not tactically. He looks up and past you. He nods towards the two guards that are at the uh, other end of the room. Apex Go outside. 
Close the door. Go on patrol. And then I See you back here in about 30 minutes. <clears throat> they look to each other. Sir? Go. And they nod and they'll slowly back up out of the room. Close the door behind them. I've loaned you my people. We've done favors for each other before. You aren't archers. So I need to know. Can I trust you? Do you? I'd like to. And I'd like to as well. Same here. We have no reason not to trust each other. Mm -hmm. I uh, will always be honest. Yeah. Louise looks real uncomfortable. She... Uh, can I speak frankly, sir? Go ahead. This... This talk is raising all sorts of red flags in my head. I don't... Uh, I'm starting to feel like we're going to be in the middle of a huge power struggle, and I don't like it. I don't... I, then let me, be perfect, let me be perfectly honest with you, then. You can either be in the middle of it, or caught in the crossfire. What's going on? If you help me, I can help you. I can't guarantee your safety. Okay. I can't get. Really I can't guarantee. I can't guarantee anything. Uh, Louise puts her hand in hand, her head in her hands. Shit. This is not a threat. I am not threatening you. I'm saying that uncertain times are upon us. How uncertain are we talking? <sighs> uh, Apex and Louise, you were showing apprehension here. I told him I would not lie. I'm not apprehensive of learning anything I am simply stating that I'm not going to lie to him whatever he tells me he's being very neutral trust. I mean I need to hear what the hell this is about I Louise doesn't have all the information could I have all of you make a charm roll for me hey <laughs> Oh, D6. Where is my dice roller? There it is. Seven. Eight. Eight. Two. That's pretty good by eight. Accurate. Wow. So three minor Jesus successes. Is shit. Wait. And uh, yes. Is Dave rolling too? Where is Dave? <laughs> yeah, where Dave is with us, right? He's I'm in the I'm cafeteria. Here. I'm here. <laughs> What's we his? Left Dave, oh no, we Connor. left Dave alone in the showers again. No. I'll roll for Dave. Whoo, Dave! What did you? You rolled double sixes. Ooh, I nice. knew it. Big Good Dave. boy, Dave. Good boy, Big Dave. Dave's Good boy. diplomacy. I'm no stranger to keeping secrets. Oh, is that all he's asking for us to keep secrets? Is that Dave speaking? That's Dave speaking, uh, and Expedition Leader Baker sort of looks at him quizzically. Eyes his outfit. Huh. Okay. Uh, Connor, is that what he's asking? Just to keep the secret? Because uh, Louise has no problem with that. Yeah, uh, he. That's what. That's what Dave said to the Expedition Leader. 
and he he Baker looks over all of you. What I'm about to tell you all does not leave this room. Do you understand me? Understood. Bastion nods. Mm -hmm. Louise, for all her discomfort, will nod very resolutely to that. Let me just see if I can find some mood setter here. Not quite it. It sounded like a Metal though. Gear. It sounded like a Metal Gear cutscene. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> okay. What I called you here to do is of the utmost secrecy. Most of my men don't even know. Alrighty. Long ago, when I was still young, right when the expedition was set to begin. Well, it began too early. Too early? Our hey. vault. Oh. We were preparing to go out into the wasteland and find our promised paradise. But we didn't exactly have ample opportunity to prepare ourselves for the wasteland before it came to us. Apparently, the locking mechanism on our vault door was faulty. Oh no. And it opened too early. And the things that are colloquially referred to as super mutants slaughtered almost half of us. before we were able to flee. But we'd been training, preparing. We weren't ready for this, but we were ready to survive. We fled. And now Vault 40 is a distant memory. One that needs to be dredged back up. I need the Pip Boy of the Overseer of Vault 40. Oh. Uh, are the super mutants still in there? As far as I'm aware, yes. What... What is so special about the Overseer's Pip-Boy? The information on that Pip-Boy is integral to initiating the final phase of what we started here at the Arch. And what would that entail? 
paradise. What does paradise mean to you? Not worrying about food or shelter. Not having to fight any wars. Not having to worry about your future. Fertile ground, clean water, fresh air, that kind of thing? Exactly. It's pretty cryptic. And, and we almost have it. I just need that Pip-Boy. What kind of information is it going to give you to provide that, though? It's a tall ask. If there's something that does that, I haven't heard of it. If we are going to stick our necks out for this, we should at least know what we're fighting for. He crosses his arms and looks at you. Make me another charm roll. Oh, boy. Is this all of us? Just me? Or... Ashton kind of tilts his head at that, too. He's confused why we're asking. We're doing this out of an obligation for a favor for him. Like, to him. Oh, God. Four. Oh, no. Is it a roll for all of us or just Cynthia? Just Cynthia. Okay. I know I asked you to come here as a favor for me, but what I'm asking you to go do is dangerous, and I understand entirely if you refuse. It'd be easier to not if we just... I know it's a hard ask, I just... more information you can give us about what the... Hell, this is. Oh. It has to do with the arch. The arch. The arch houses a secret. A secret. Secret. Secret that will lead us to the paradise that we fought for. It's not some God-given holy artifact or some locked-away savior or some sort. You know, it's something tangible. Something just clicked in Louise's head. Um, no, go ahead. But it's something that can help out everyone, not just y'alls, but everybody here. If we can get this thing for y'all, is that what you're is that what you're throwing out of me? It's got the potential too. Would it fertile ground, clean water, and fresh air, all at the cost of getting this pit boy? Is that what you're all saying? Is that what he's saying ringing like any some... bells with like what Bastion, like his Bastion's parents were working on a way to uh, de-radiate soil, essentially. Does this ring any bells to him? You, you know that what he's talking about is possible. The technology in order for it to become a reality, you haven't heard of I'm not an engineer I wouldn't even know what like if my parents were close to something or not yeah for the, for them it was mostly uh an an idea that they were working towards um and he he looks over all of you Yes, I believe it very well could. Hmm. Does 
does this thing you need, the thing to get paradise or whatever, does, is that going to hurt other people in the process? No. But... You can see how something like that might catch the eye of other people uh, who want it. Fashion nods Connor, slightly. Connor, can I... Louise has an idea in her head, and I'm trying to figure out if I can roll for this. Mm-hmm. Because cause I know he said, basically, it's the arch is not just an arch. He basically said that, right? He said he said the arch is hiding something. Um, all right. Can I roll, I guess, like, the wits roll to make a connection between, because I remember we talked to Dave. Um, Louise is wondering if the arch is a teleporter. Can I roll on that? Roll... Smarts? <laughs> sure, sure. Eight. You've only really heard of the teleporter tangentially from conversations with Dave and about the Institute. So you... It... It could be, but... You really don't know for sure. All right. We will hold on to that thought, train of thought to herself. So she does sort of breathe out a little more and be like, oh, thank you for that, sir. By the way, I actually feel a little better. The way I see it, I better work on my right hook. It's going to take a mighty one if we bump into a super mutant. Where is this vault? He uh, steps out from behind his desk and he motions towards your pit boy, Louise. I will stand up and go to him. It will not be an easy or a short journey. In order to find Vault 40. You need to cross through the gate. Through the gate? Any points on your map? Oof. Yeah, that is a bit of a trek. Whoa! The big final dungeon energy. Right where the sidewalk ends. It's not that much farther than where we are from Riverside, all things considered. Eh, with a car, you know. Maybe. And it is firmly rested in unknown territory. Past state lines, as a matter of fact. Oh. <gasps> oh, is no. That... We're going to you're going Kansas. To, you're going Chicago. to Gulp, Illinois. Oh, oh even God. worse. No. Chicago. <gasps> We, we go Bosco. there, it immediately starts raining Mothman. Bosco just appears in the call. <laughs> no, he just appears in the oh, call. Oh god, all, all the driving. super mutants are Bosco. <laughs> oh my god. Super I would Bosco. actually I would actually really dig Bosco recording like super mutant voices just for the purpose mm. of this campaign. Just, just bites that you can play. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter if we cross the state line, Bosco just pops in in the car while we're driving. He's like, Ooh. hey, what's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why did you take the wild wasteland perk? Why did you? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, well, since we've got good transportation, that shouldn't be too much of a hardship, considering. 
to make it there pretty easy. <laughs> Do I know anything about the gate, Connor? He's probably referring to, um, he's, he said it before, so I, uh, I'll give it to you. The arch mm. is commonly referred to as the gateway to the west or the east. Oh, I forget. Okay. I forget what it is. Technically it's both, but. Oh it's, my God. Depends on which way the car's oh. pointing. Oh my God. I feel more and more I'm right. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, if we're yes. going to your. If we're going to your vault, I got a, I, I got a question for y'all. If you don't mind. Yes. Uh, vault eighty five had a bunch of weird little tricks and puzzles to it, and I'm just wondering if your vault um, had any tricks to it, or gimmicks, or traps, or anything we need to look out for other than the super mutants. He tilts his head and raises a brow quizzically. Louise huffs a breath. Uh, suffice to say, um, what what was the purpose of that that vault? Our what purpose. Kind of, what were you running there? Our purpose was to come here. No, I mean, um, I mean, shit. Uh, vault eighty five, like he said, the the whole thing about that vault was basically a massive mind game for the inhabitants. So what was Vault 40's deal? Was it literally just for you guys to come out and leave, or...? He eyes you very... cautiously. I'm not sure what you're trying to get at, but... we were trained to... navigate the wasteland, and we were given tools to make the most of what we would find. Ah, so I'm guessing. So they it's... didn't have to worry about anything. We were sent to reclaim this place and to right. reap its rewards. And it wow. is also where we learned to make these. And he sets his uh, magcaster down onto his desk. Cynthia's eyebrows shoot up and look over at Louise. Wow. Y'all really got the short end of the stick on wet vault you were in. Yeah, we did all right. Always puts a smile on my face looking at a piece of hardware like that. Speaking as a engineer kind of way. Huh. Well, favor is a favor. Absolutely. And honestly, if, if honestly about what you're saying, I feel like I, I feel like I'd I'd be a fool and a villain if I didn't go ahead and help you out, sir. That's the honest for me. I appreciate that. It's no worry at all. My only concern is: Are we going to be strong enough to keep up with? The number of super mutants that you were saying are in there. Yes. Well, <laughs> Apex. Apex seal of approval, huh? I'm sure we are very strong, mm -hmm. but we don't know what's in there. Super mutants. Raise right. people's one thing, but super mutant? <sighs> Damn. Like I said, even I have to go ahead and work on my right hook for that one. I don't suppose you got any tips on how to handle super mutants, do you? Or an extra magcaster lying around. <clears throat> well, I think if we go ahead and make some preparations, get some stuff polished up, and go ahead and get kitted out, I think that would be best for hedging our odds going ahead and getting this pit bull back. He it does give a lingering look about the magcaster. <laughs> Louise isn't Louise isn't gonna say anything about that. He he flattens his mouth, he rolls his eyes and reaches down towards his desk, pulls out a drawer. And he pulls out what looks to be a small looking hand crossbow. 
and he walks it over to you. He kind of gives him a look like, is this a parting gift? It's a token of goodwill. All right. And because I think you'll need it. <laughs> there it is. <sighs> well, I do appreciate it. We refer to those as hand casters. They're pretty much just smaller versions of the big ones. Okay, well, now Louise's yeah. eyes go. <laughs> Cynthia takes it and pockets it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't well, quite pack hit. as doesn't quite pack the punch of a real mag caster, but. It packs all of the armor penetration value. Well, I can only imagine that'll be quite useful where we're headed. Oh, it's gonna be fucking nice. No, that thing's gonna come in goddamn handy. I've heard tell stories about super mutants basically going ahead and putting tank plating on as a as a jock strap. If you believe the stories. Oh, I could believe them. <sighs> well, is there anything else we need to know, or do you know anything about the trek there? I know it's probably been quite some time since you made it this way. I've sent scouts out a couple of times. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. Oh, heavens. Mm. Anything from the reports there? All I know is that the super mutants have a firm grip on Vault 40. Any idea how many we're looking at handling? <sighs> Dozens, at least. Dozens. Fashion nods. Dozens of super mutants. Perhaps more. <sighs> if it were just a couple, they wouldn't have forced us out of our vault. Right. Connor, uh, super mutants, how intelligent are they? <laughs> <laughs> from what, in intelligence is rare. From, okay. what little, from what little you know of them, not very. <laughs> Oh, hi, sorry, I'm the one of the only people in here who really have not played Fallout. Me don't know too much, okay? There, there, <laughs> there are, like, the ones that are even conscious of being, like, able to talk to people rather than just go straight up and smash is, like, I think it's one in every 50 or one in 100 super mutants oh where, they, yeah. uh, where they don't instantly okay. just go berserker rage. The Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Louise would have no way of knowing, but the few super mutants that are smart are really smart. Uh, mm -hmm. But most of them are either dumb as bricks or insane. What's two Mostly plus insane. two? Meat! <laughs> that's, that's how they are. Got it. Mm -hmm. Just Wait, based off... Kirk, what, Kirk's what Louise, a super mutant, right? Kirk is a super mutant, and based off of your interaction with him... Uh... Not too bright. Yeah, he was. Okay. But he, but he, but he was the one in a hundred. But he was the one in a hundred that doesn't instantly try to kill you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, also, a, there's, there's, there's been a couple of there's been a couple of them who have been in like the the games and the stories and whatnot. Like even if they aren't hyper cognizant, if they're cute. not dumb as bricks, some of them do make like do make livings as like traitors, bodyguards, pretty much just like any person. Only they're like. 14 feet tall and like an ultra jack shrek that's what they are like mm -hmm. but yes thank you the for apex, coming to our the TED apex, talk about the supermans the apex believes himself ready mm. <sighs> guess we should 
get some supplies before we leave here. I'd love to get a few more stem packs if we could find them, especially for this sort of sort of enterprise. Right. I genuinely Is there agree. There a general store somewhere or If you're willing to do this for me, then take whatever you need. There. Our chances of survival are low enough. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a and having a look at what you might have around that we could go ahead and kid ourselves out with. Well, I'll, I'll have my general. The... Was this the place with the pizza or was that Clayton? Clayton. Uh, no. Clayton. Um... No, wait. This did have the pizza place because Bryce is the one who took us in there. No, that was near the, that was near the brewery, which is. Oh. Where's the brewery on here? Did I not? You, you mark it down. It when you moved around, I think you did. Hunter. Don't don't worry, don't worry. I'll Hunter? find it on the map. What? Uh? Oh, was it brewery? Oh, bring it For the life Dina. of me, for the life Dina. of me, I'm trying to remember. Um, was the archer supposed to be the thing that was going to help us with the transponder receiver from that one town that we attacked that guy in, and then they were like, bring back proof that the guy had a thing, and we went to the no, archer. No, that, that? that was for, that was neck and we did that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hence, we're not banned from there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. We got taken off their blacklist. Well, once yeah, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can go into the Spencer's gifts. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't mind that we peed in the fountain. Now it's like you know, water under the bridge. Prove that you're not here to cause trouble. Kills the family. Oh. All right then. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> oh. Right this cool, way, then. sir. Right this way. Right this way. Go uh. You went, uh, oh, that was actually pretty close by. Um, so the place that they wanted, the, the place where the pizza was initially was around, uh, here-ish? Okay. Uh, okay, we just didn't have markers. Yeah. Um, I could, I could probably, well, just throw it's, a slice it's, of pizza on the map. Oh my god. Beep, 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 All that place is to me. I mean, it's a sta it's a staging location at a pizza shop. It's, it's more well known as a brewery, but okay. Pizza. Uh, I thought I thought the I thought the brewery or uh, brewery. I thought the brewery was a separate location. Who we brewery? There we go. The existence the existence Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny little pizza shop. If Hello, if Hello Kitty pizza. ran a brewery, it would be called Ooey Booey. Ooey Booey. The existence of pizza in the wasteland proves Something the existence the Ooey Booey, of a You can super drink mutant. the Twubble Bubbles. The existence of pizza in the wasteland proves the existence that there could possibly be a super mutant whose name is DiGiorno. Oh my god. While you're not incorrect, <laughs> it is highly <laughs> unlikely... Also, <laughs> let me just zoom in here real close, and you can see it right down Yay. here. Now we ah, know where we memories. Pizza. Memories. Filled with cheese. To him saying ew, we can get ew. anything. To him saying we can get anything we want. I uh, stay. I kind of like stiffen up a little bit. I want a letter saying I can have as many pizzas as I would like. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> if you do this for me, I will buy you as many pizzas as you want. Forever. My eyes widen. I mean, I was going to do it anyway, so now it's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The apex has outfoxed you. <laughs> Dumbass. If you're good at something, never do it for free. <laughs> standing, like, st standing, standing in line, you can only have one topping, but I want three. <laughs> the third is extra. The third makes mm. the pizza floppy. <laughs> Third's asking far too much. Two toppings is the most efficient. Oh God! Yeah if, we're get, yeah, if we're getting all kidded out and whatnot, 
would you mind, uh, I wouldn't mind being escorted, but if we could go ahead and take a look at what we might be able to use to arm ourselves with or whatnot, or barring that, if you have any scrap laying around and a good working uh, workbench. Uh, I remember Mateo, last time I came here, might be able to go ahead and me and him might be able to bump heads and go ahead and make some uh, polished up armor or whatnot. Feel free. All right. All right. Good enough. Good enough. And we'll start shopping. Um, are you, are we all leaving now? Uh, I think he's leading us to wherever we can gear up, right? Uh, he's he's still in. You're all still in his office, but oh, okay. Uh, he 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 could show you if you, if you're if you're ready to go. That is. Yeah. I I guess we're all sealed up here. Do you? Would you like to shake on it? Hmm. Alvin I think I would. Extend his hand. I think I would. And he will grasp your gauntleted arm with his uh, likewise fairly uh, robust hand, and he gives you a firm shake. Yeah, very good. Warrior's handshake. Warrior's handshake. When all this goes uh, off, I want you four to be here to see it. Uh, five. Sorry. Yeah, it's no problem. I'm keep myself oh. small. Oh, <laughs> Cynthia dang. pats his shoulder. Well, um, he, needs, he needs more meat. Uh, you've we'll got a guy on. who can escort us or whatever. That'd be uh, good. Sure. Uh, I'll muster someone. Very good, then. Um, he, we, he goes to like an intercom good. on his desk and he mutters something into it. <laughs> you were saying, Louise? Sorry. Uh, Louise wants to hang back a second as the rest of them leave. If that would be all right. Sure. If you, the rest of you are all right with that. Yeah. How many yeah, skin no, packs no. can I legally take? <laughs> oh my God. How many hearts do you want? See the picture with the guy with all the lemons. I can't hold all these stim packs. Oh my God. But yes, I, I'm fine leaving. Okay. Apex has no more words. Apex uh, shuffles out of the meeting room. When they're all gone, Louise will turn back to um and say, I uh, think I owe you an apology. What for? Well, you uh, were talking about the airport and the ghouls and stuff, and I kind of got a slightly different picture in my head of what you were going to ask us to do, if uh, you know what I mean. Oh. Sorry. No. Sorry. We're, we're more than capable of handling our own if such a threat were to arise, but no, this yeah. is... Yeah, this is something I mean, greater. I mean, if they came at you, that's different. I just... Sorry, I, I jumped to conclusions. Just, uh... It's perfectly other, understandable. Yeah. One other thing, though. Just one other concern now I'm thinking about. Yes? I, I grew up in a vault myself, or at least, you know, after it had opened, but... Hmm. And I've, I've been to under, other vaults, too, in my travels, and... The one pattern I've seen is that us inhabitants, we were used. We were always being used. And I, I hope that this paradise they, they promised you is real. But keep in mind, you guys might still be guinea pigs even now. Hmm. I mean, that, that could be full of it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <sighs> well, as the overseer of Vault 40, 
Hopefully I can assuage your concerns. Raises an eyebrow. I don't know Ugh. anything that... No. I, I know everything that Vault Tech was doing with our vault. Fair enough. She will um, walk forward to his desk and, as Alvin did, hold her hand out. He gives your hand a very firm shake. And thank you. Welcome for the best. She will what? nod and turn and walk out. Oh, do you have something to say? Mm -hmm. What you're doing here for us is the culmination of generations of preparation. And it'll have a big payoff. Trust me. All right. Not in the... No problem. I do what I do. Walks out. And as you walk out, the heavy wooden doors closing shut as... Expedition leader Samuel Baker turns out his window to gaze upon the steel, the shimmering stainless steel of the arch in the morning sun. That's where we're going to go ahead and take a break. It's time to pee! That would be, <laughs> that would be like a really beautiful sight. Now that I think about it. Well, that sounds yeah. like on, the, on the metal. Yeah! Uh, speaking of peeing, woohoo! <laughs> Yes, I will also return shortly. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hello, chat. You're enjoying the lore dump? I know I did. Hope you're having a, a fantastic evening. Thank you for stopping by and joining us for this episode of Gateway. spaced out. Don't get into the Warhammer hobby. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello there, everybody. How you doing today? Is no one here? Oh, I am. Hell. Yo, shit! You fucking scared me, actually. Ha, huh, got him. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grumpy Dungeon Masters, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I genuinely thought I was by myself. <laughs> you made me jump. You made me jump. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Gotta stay on my toes around you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I got pumpkin scones and they are so nummy yum. That sounds delicious. They only come this particular season at Ralph's, and as soon as I saw they had them back again, I was just like, I was just like, mine! <sighs> I can't wait to get pickle chips. Damn you all. Damn you all. <laughs> well, this is hello my there. Like pickle chips. Hello, how you doing today? I'm great. I have grapes. Oh, you make grapes pickle are good. chips. Hmm? That sounds like something you just make at home, like fry up pickle chips. Do you know what you call mm -hmm. grapes in Minecraft? Grapes? Mm, no. Squapes. Because of squapes. <laughs> squapes. Can I have some squapes? Squapes? <laughs> squapes. Uh, squapes. Squapes. Like squaring grapes. Square and grapes. No, I get Whoa, it. Squapes. No, I, I get it. Squapes. Greg, yes. It's really good. <laughs> I had to. I had to explain the joke. I failed at comedy. I must commit clown seppuku. Fungals, no. <laughs> I must if offer myself just... to the clown. Pump. Why didn't? Is, okay, if clown is clown seppuku is a thing, is, I feel is... like you need to have a horn squeak, like the horn. <laughs> Like no, uh, clown clown seppuku is when they they take the dagger and they stick it in their stomach and then they just go. <laughs> <laughs> they just throw a bunch of confetti out of their gut. Oh my and then god! When they fall, and then when they fall down, there's another clown behind them that's like their second that goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! They just slowly deflate. <laughs> You know, rabbit. They they pull oh up God. a really tiny car, a really tiny hearse, and put him in it. <laughs> What's up, Sarah? I was gonna say I learned how to make your 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 duck sound on a on my carving board with a spoon. <laughs> oh, fantastic! <laughs> it legit sounds exactly the same. I was like, oh my God. That's just very high pitched and fast, so it kind of sounds like a duck. Um, you know. I've also I've also been known to do a very good clown laugh. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm back. Yep. Top clown. Thank you. You're welcome. Try my best. Me too. Me too. Don't we all? Don't mm -hmm. we all just trying our best? We're I every day, every Most day, all the time. That's a lie. I need to Lanny. try harder sometimes. <laughs> Lanny wow. with the honesty, just like most of the time. <laughs> I wake up out of bed, look myself in the mirror, and go, at least six out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten every look, day. Look, I'm, I'm right? honest with my level of effort. I do not delude myself. I, I know my hair. I need to be better. I, need, I cut my hair short because I'm too lazy to keep it nice otherwise. Plus, it saves on shampoo. Mm. I'm going to cut my hair eventually, but not until I get it to a length where it's actually, like, worth donating. Mm. I, like, at this point, I've grown it out so much that it's like, I may as well do something with it. Like, and I think you need to have, like, a minimum hair length to actually donate hair. Like a foot or something. A Halloween. Something like that. I know Halloween's I'm coming there. up. Maybe you want to do Captain Caveman? Aw. Classic. Maybe the Geico caveman, like, put your ass in a suit? Just your ass, though. Yeah, just the ass. I like, like, know. like, it's like you screwed it up. Like, you're Daffy Ducking it, but, like, you were, like, like, you're Donald Ducking around the place. But, yeah, like... Daffy Duck wore, wore no clothes. Yeah, I remembered he was a nudist. Yeah, so that's why I changed my answer. It's just, like, the um, front of a suit, but stapled over the butt. Yes. Like Donald, yeah. Like the tie? 
Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I think on. Porky Pig was the tie. Porky Pig was the guy. Okay, was just, so you yeah. know the shoulder area where there's like the tie and the lapels and everything? Mm hmm. Cut that like a rectangle. Turn person around. Stick that on butt. Like a suit just for mm -hmm. your butt. <laughs> That's it. Are still talking about Daffy Duck? No. Oh, I, okay. Just making sure. I like. Did I cross some wires? I think we're going with like. No, I did. I'm the one wow, who crossed okay. the wires. I've uh, crossed yeah. a lot of wires at this point. Yes, you have. You have. You you've completely mastered well, which this one wire do I game cut? among us. The red the one. Front, the front Duh. of the suit. Mm. That's the one you cut. Did not compute. May have killed us all. <laughs> Fun. Some of these chocolate mushroom things. I miss playing keep talking. Sarah, are you eating words. shrooms? I'm eating choco rooms. They're I'm like shrooms, shrooms, but instead of psilocybin, it's chocolate. Well, you I'm know, it's cashews, and it's annoying to me that these have more carbs in them than protein. God damn it, it's so hard to eat protein without carbs. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Caitlin, haven't you ever seen those like Japanese candies that look like little mushrooms? I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm just being difficult. Yeah, they they had them at Ralph's of all places, and I was just like, oh, I know those. Oh, yeah. They're super hungry. Rabbit's like, what? <laughs> Ten points for the complete honesty today. I'm saying, good lord. We are all My honesty best often cuts here. straight to the bone and then some. Same. Uh, I, I, you can tell when I'm, when I'm going to go ahead and, like, really, like, break the honesty out because like I look at my friend and I have this look on my face going like it's getting really hard to keep this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cause a scene. <laughs> Sometimes when we touch the honesty's too much. <laughs> it's like like it's, it's like I just turned into that scene from Spongebob going well Mr. Krabs do you want to know what I think? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mm, chat. Choco rooms look like a mushroom, but it's a little cookie stick with chocolate at the end that looks like a mushroom cap. Well, yeah, yeah. imagine Poppy, they but are basically delicious. it's like... Oh my god, yeah. No, I haven't yeah. had them in so long. They're You're so good, good though. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much Mr. a Pocky. I have given Mr. Steak a cashew. He will now be sitting here for the rest of the game, just so you all know. Excellent. A single cashew. <laughs> A single cashew. You've made a friend for life. <laughs> I will follow you into hell. I hope Where's the lie? Before this, but... Sometimes you need to reinforce the friendship. True. I had a dog one time who yeah. really loved almonds. Oh, Mr. Steak loves almonds, too. Oh, hell yeah! He awesome. also, like, he will also beg for broccoli. Like, he will just, like, beg for the strangest thing sometimes. Funny dog. The body, the body knows what it needs. Sometimes. Other times the dog eats floss and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this greasy rag smells good. I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sherman? <laughs> well, I can't believe they just left this here. <laughs> I didn't know grease came in rag form. <laughs> All right, well, are we ready to get back into it, everyone? Hell yeah. I'm ready to fight. Migs, then. your stim packs. That shit. It's the smallest. Yeah. All right. Then let's go ahead and get back into it. Bye, chat. I'm Goodbye, sorry. chat. That was right Whoa. by the microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ate a bunch of grapes. What uh, the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean squipes? What is Girl, this song? Squipes. squipes. I'm leaving. Bye, chat. I'll... <laughs> I'm going you two tabs over. Version. Uh-huh.
How dare you ruin my immersion? All right. <laughs> okay. Who I then? So, with Expedition Leader Baker's request fresh in your mind, you are given what seems to be free reign around here. Dang. Okay. I Gosh. My previous question. How many stim packs can I legally take? How many stim packs can you legally take? If you are being escorted to a storeroom in order to stock up on supplies, let me go ahead and see what they have. Just look, you may as well. It's just like, we're going to take all of it. It's all ours. Well, I know, I'm joking. On. Just be like, what do you have? Yeah, well, I'll have that. I'm going to keep grabbing things until they start. I'm going to keep grabbing things. Just full just, of court intrigue. Just keep grabbing things until they start looking uncomfortable. Then grab one more thing. <laughs> grab, you can grab things in proportion to how close her hand is to the trigger of their magcaster. Well, two. you can grab two. They just go ahead and give you uh, 14 10 millimeter rounds. Uh, who uses those? Uh, I, I do. do, and I believe you do. Uh, how many rounds do you have? How about we take seven each? Okay. Yeah. They give you each two bottles of purified water. Ah, uh, yay! <gasps> so Dave gets that too as well. Yes. He's just. I take just, Dave. No. <laughs> he's just like the pack rat for everything extra that we didn't bring because we didn't bring Mr. Dalliard. Dave the Mule Bronkowski. Oh, is he our Patsy? He's our Patsy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Message for you, sir. <laughs> also, tangentially, I've had a toothache for two days and it just went away, and I feel fantastic. Oh, oh great. Man. Congrats. So you're still, you're still going to go to the yeah. dentist, right? No, it doesn't hurt anymore. Connor! <laughs> that works, but, Connor! But you need to check it, make sure. Yeah, it, could just, it could just be like a tiny mountain lion, and it's just <laughs> crouched waiting to strike again. Exactly. Just, just, anyway, you just, also find... Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to talk about that in a minute. Oh, hell yeah, we are. <clears throat> Caitlin has words for you now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You find eight point forty five rounds. Uh, what are those for? Uh, Dirty hairy revolvers. Oh yeah. Fucking... So like the one my sister had. Yeah. Yeah, oh, like okay. bone crushers. Yeah. These just Cynthia should have them. I know she really wanted one. What? Uh, what? What is it? Those are the ones that you wanted that I gave to my sister. The Magnum rounds. Oh, how many again? Eight. We have yet to have a gun that shoots them, but we are stockpiling ammo. Yep. Yep. I mean, are you going to keep the little mini Magcaster and the Magnum if we get one? No, I was going to... Uh, Louise should take the Magnum round since Chris is the only one that has a Magnum gun. Well, keep in mind, Chris has gone back to our vault, so... Right, but... We don't have a gun for that, that right we... now. Oh, all right. Chris next. Uh, what did you say? 845s? Eight, yes. Eight point five bullets. Okay. Also, speaking of which, uh, you are given, uh, you specifically, Cynthia, are given mm -hmm. uh, approximately 12 small handfuls of scrap metal. Okay. As long as you have scrap metal in your inventory, you can use a mag caster or something like it. Got it. I'm just writing the list for now, and then I'll put it in my sheet later. If you are willing to take it, you are each offered uh, 
a ballistics vest. Yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. Uh, what What's the uh, armor rating on that? Uh, the armor rating on the on the ballistics vest is six. Is that going to be better than my current? Is there any other benefit besides just the uh, the number? Because my current armor is nine. So how? <laughs> because we upgraded boss, it, and I managed to get man, a really good. Because remember, boss man upgraded it, and I used up, and I used up, and he used upgrade on my stuff, and it went up to seven. Do you remember this? Don't you remember the meme we did where we had they had the, the the SpongeBob meme they made where you know the fish comes through the wall and then he turns and it's Patrick on the back but they put Louise's head on it instead. That was why. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! Apex like, passes oh. on the vest. What? <laughs> Cynthia's gonna take it. There you go. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind case, one as a backup. Since you've got such swell case. armor, it's 10 now. <laughs> Hooray! So Still it's pass. 10 now? I, I, I'll, okay, I'll take it. My armor is 10 poggers. That's I'm going to keep... By default. I'm going to keep them both. And that's That stonks. And Connor, yeah. I know that Cynthia is still kind of damaged. The ballistics thing that I bought bought quote unquote in the beginning we were attributing it to the extra plating that she has before right right so then she could wear the ballistics vest on top of this and still be like fixed further correct for the in theory. Extra plating in theory not to say that's gonna happen but all right I'm just doing that so that's 10 okay cool then yes I am going to keep my Kevlar vest with the nine just in case my other armor gets fucked and then I have a backup. Yay! It is very similar to the armor that most of the archers wear. Mm. That shit looks pretty good on me. Hmm. Check that out. Runs it. Uh, gives an apprising eye. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Good ensemble. Good ensemble. <clears throat> Well, you know, at least keep my dress a little bit nicer for a while. You know, it makes me sad now. I got better armor because of because of mine, but now I feel like Connor's going to make things harder. Yeah, he's going to be like, yeah, <laughs> yes, have yes. fun, 12 like, things, oh, yeah, things, right. yeah. things, things are going to be as, just as hard as they were without anything like that. I just wasn't expecting you to have all that armor. How did you forget? <laughs> I don't I look at your he, sheets. I yeah. love that. Good. Keep not I, looking. I Look, it's, it's, it's very. Don't it, tell him any more, guys. Because speaking I trust of, you. Speaking well, of yeah, DM, don't tell him any more. Trusting me. It's very Be easy to forget things that your players have. I I love that you didn't even say like what or an exclamation. You were just like fucking how. <laughs> how? <laughs> Explain. Oh, ludicate me. Explain thyself. <laughs> Indeed. We well, yes the the archer's combat armor is is ten by default. Nice. Again, so unless, I it gets, the unless it gets completely ruined, it's it's going to at least stay at a ten. You are also. What else can they spare? They're not just they're not just giving you total free run of the place, but they are giving you stuff that they can afford to give away. Right. Uh they give you four packets of Rataway. All of us? Or just yeah. each of us? E for the for the group, four. So we each get one. Yeah, yes. That's Dave good. and Dave can just smile. I will give him one if he needs it. Yeah, Dave yeah. Dave wait, you took two? What? What? We, no, we each get one. one. There's, There's four, four of us, and each of us get one. Yeah, so Dave got one. No. No, there no. are four Rataway. Each they of only, us gets one. They only right. had four packets of Rataway, and they gave you all of them. Right. Cynthia would give hers to Dave because Rataway oh, right. rats don't affect oh, her. Oh, right, yeah, she doesn't need it. Fair yeah, enough. I, 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 no body, guys. No all skin. Right. Burn. No ain't skin. got no body. So yeah, Dave, uh, will, so Dave will get the rat away.
What else? Any place uh, to restock the old tool belt or tighten up the uh, punchy fist? Do they have stronger punchy fists? Is that a thing? <laughs> Wait for stim packs. Yeah, I was asked specifically for stim packs, and I'm seeing how much they've got to offer you. Let's see. Oh my. Uh, go ahead and make a, <laughs> go ahead and make, uh, whoever wants to a charm roll. <coughs> That's not my strong suit. Wait, who am I doing a charm roll with? Uh, the supplier in here. Okay, great. Then yes, I will do that. <sighs> Eight. Eight. Okay. Out of their 13 stim packs on hold, they are willing to part with five of them. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty bad. I will hold on to one. You said... Uh, we get uh, five. Yeah, we could each hold on to one, and Cynthia could keep the last two. What do you mean the last two? Well, there's five, so one for five me, one for Alvin, one for three is two. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right? No, so you would keep. Dave. You would keep the extra. Well, there's I would say us. that. Well, I you're the nurse. Dave would keep the extra. Yeah, but you're the nurse, though. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess. I guess uh, mm. Wait. Alan, is it better for Dave please. to have one in case he's not with you, or is it better for yeah. you to have it because you're the nurse and you would make better use no, of it? No, Dave should have one because what if he gets cordoned off somewhere and gets fucked up? Okay. Well, then he's dead anyway, honestly. No, <laughs> how dare you? He will not die. How dare? Dave actually, will that... get one, and I will keep one, too. Actually, that raises the question. Should we be bringing Dave with us to this vault? Shrug. Is that a smart he, idea? He is, one, <laughs> he is the one who wanted to come. Well, actually, yeah, that's about that time then that Cynthia will turn to Dave. Are you sure you want to go with us into this? No, but <laughs> I am willing to follow you because I don't want to lose you again. You know how dangerous this is about to be, right? Oh, Yeah. I'm well aware. In fact, I think I might be more aware than the rest of you. We're pretty just, aware. Just more vulnerable. For all, for all the, and this is more just for me than Louise, but for all the shit you've been giving fucking Louise with the Alvin stuff lately, as soon as he says, well, I don't want to lose you again, suddenly Louise slowly goes, comes into your field of vision with this big shit-eating grin like, ah. Mm -hmm. The Cynthia's eyes flicker red a couple of times. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's what I'm thinking. But, and besides, I, well, well, I ain't gonna talk about it outside those doors. That's for the polite thing to do, honestly. But it's got, it's got me piqued my interest. And also, damn, this armor looks really damn good on me. I gotta... <laughs> Dave, Damn. that pistol you got is a laser something, right? Yes. Is that one-handed? Yes, but I hold it two-handed to for stability. Right. Does it have kind of a endless supply of ammo, or...? Uh, no, I need uh, these fuel cells here, and he'll dig out these... Uh, Small little battery looking things. All right. Actually, did Dave get a get a ballistics vest too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank God. It's yeah, like, yes, please give him one. <laughs> yeah, he got the two bottles of water, he got uh the ballistics vest and a stem pack. He looks like the hacker in a heist movie where you definitely know he shouldn't be getting into the line of fire, but 
But he's going. <laughs> and you're sure you want to go with us on this? You don't have to. I, I don't... She doesn't want to be separated from you in a moment. And I can't say I don't feel the same. If... I just if you go out hurt. if you go out there and you get scrapped in a place where I can't get to then waiting for you all those weeks with the family will have just been a waste Anna smiles at him no, you're right. Louise nudges Alvin. He's sweet, ain't he? Yeah, he's a stronger son of a bitch than people give him credit for, that's for sure. Mm. Well, all right. Thank you, Dave. Hmm. I'm still super nervous about it, though, and I still think it's a bad idea. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that makes two of us, Dave. I am. <laughs> I'm putting on a brave face, I'll tell you that much right now. Still, gotta wonder what that expedition leader guy is referring to. I'll admit, it's got me real curious. Me too. I don't want to talk, talk about it since we're outside his room. I had a politeness, but if it can do it... I think it can do. He says it can do. Cynthia's eyes dart to the uh, person who's given our, us stuff. Are they, since he made the guards leave, are they reacting in any way, shape, or form to what's being said? <laughs> They're uh, looking at you a bit quizzically. Well, either way, uh, we can talk more on the road about yeah. what we need to do. Anyway, is there any other gear we need to uh, be settled up with? She looks at the person behind the counter. Um, how are you on food? You said those eggs never go bad, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Great. I have 11 of them. Oh, will those eggs be bad by now, then? No. No, they never go bad. No. They're, oh, they're okay. That's why it's unfortunate, they just, because there's so many preservatives in them. They just um, don't taste like egg. They'll I mean, outlive you. Me, myself, I got 13 of them left, and I got two yeah, got cans it. of cram, and I got one pack of snack eggs. I've got 11, and I don't eat. So... I got, I got mac and cheese again. I have a uh, lot of rad roach meat. I have. Oh wait, no, I ate the squirrel. <laughs> no more mute fruit. I'm, I'm checking. Uh, I'm checking the rest of what we got real quick here. I have a. Apple. Oh, I still have rad scorpion meat. It's. Well, yeah, Cynthia just gave it to you. No, no, no. Or no, rad scorpion, rad scorpion. Oh. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give we, Dave something. We can mix the two. We can make jambalaya out of that. Well, Cynthia, I, uh, we'll, we'll have Dave covered. Uh, the scorpion meat has already been turned into jerky. Ah, uh, we can make... Nope, I can't combine jerky and jambalaya. Well played, sir. Mm. Mm. Indeed. Mm. 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 So you're good. I think we're, f I think we're fine on food. Um, I think we're set. If... Uh, you wouldn't mind. Uh, I'll show my tool belt. Uh, could you go ahead and, if you have any bits and bobs, I could, I, I could uh, restock this. Be good for field repairs. Bits and bobs. What do you mean? Oh, just if you have any uh, screws, any scraps of metal, whatnot laying around. Uh, duct tape, anything like that. Uh, glue, stuff like that. Hmm. Wires. 
Branches and you whatnot, know, I'm still good on having all those. Even got wire cutters and whatnot too. But if, you have if you're looking, if you're looking for random crap, it would surprise you to know that scrap metal is at a premium here. <laughs> I wouldn't mind have. I wouldn't mind having uh, a couple of plates for spot well for spot repairs and whatnot. Got any? Maybe uh, about the size of my fist. Maybe about. I'd say ten sheets worth. Plates for spot welding. Well, not spot welding, but spot repairs. You know what I mean. Just fixing holes and armor and whatnot, have you? <sighs> he he sighs and he ducks under the counter, shuffles around like he's looking for something. Ashton just wonders, stones, or wonder, like, kind of mutters quietly, why would that be surprising? It's basically their ammo source. He's got the right of it. <sighs> okay. Here's what I can spare. And he hands you uh, enough, uh, enough materials to make one repair while you're out on the, on the uh, road. And, and right. you'll you'll notice as he hands it to you, this guy is like jacked, like very muscular. Uh, Chris Eve. Redfield was is a kind of fall out. <laughs> not not too far off, but he he's also an, <laughs> uh, of an older persuasion. Uh, he's got very eight th Chris Redfield. very <laughs> thick biceps that uh, press up against his uh, the arms of his jumpsuit. You're describing him very, very lovingly in a way. <laughs> so, sounds like his collarbone crests to a very nice peak. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> he sounds like my uncle John. This is getting weird. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, this. Uh, yeah, no, this will do. This will do nicely. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'll just put it in a pouch in my tool belt. Hmm. When you're out there, you never know when you need it, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I guess I suppose so. All right. I doesn't really it. doesn't really affect me much, but mm. Yeah, I get you. Well, thank you very kindly for this. I think I'm all set up, guys. How about yourselves? I think I'm right as rain. Bastion nods. Yeah, I think I'm good. Dave, you ready to go? As I'll ever be. All right. You stay close to me, and I'll make sure I'll make sure anything that gets near us is bopped on the head harder than you wouldn't believe. And I'll point my pistol at things. If the and need arises. Shoot when it you will. need. Well, if you watch my back, <laughs> there ain't nothing that could take us down. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Motley Crew away. <laughs> then they will head off towards the car. All right. Ashton will await and take his usual seat as soon as the door is unlocked. Uh, as you, uh, as you go out to your car, you'll find Expedition Leader Baker uh, standing in front of it. Well, hello again. Hello. Howdy. So you got yourselves situated. Yeah, I love the outfit. Thanks, it feels really strong, too. They look good on you. Thank you. I just kind of wish that you'd wear the jumpsuits, too. I think you'd make great archers. But for the time being, this is satisfying for me.
Any parting words of advice for us? I should think that it goes without saying, but what you're doing is very dangerous. You're no strangers to danger. Certainly not. And you've come out unscathed from three out of the three nearly impossible situations you've been in already. So, with that knowledge in mind, I still think it would be a It would behoove you to get your affairs in order. How do you mean? If you want to take care of anything before you head out there, I would do it. Shit, no pressure, huh? I can't even think of... What I need to take care of. That old man wanted some Meyer lurks killed. Bastion ponders to himself. Mm -hmm. That is true, and there is still, um, you know, the situation in Westport. <clears throat> right. I would know That's going to take some time to settle anyway. Mm. Well... If and when you make it back, we can discuss more help for you. Before we go? <laughs> he tilts his oh. head. Oh. We seem, we seem to be exchanging favors quite a bit. Uh, if and when you I come see. back, we'll see about helping you with yours. I see. Right. That'd be, that'd be a great benefit. Well. I do want that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose we'll have to make quick work of it then. Bastion nods. Enthusiastically. Very well. Then, good luck, Godspeed, and don't get dead. You take good care of yourself. He nods we'll and smiles. You, you'll be, we'll be back before you know it. Don't y'all worry now. Very well. And he will will step aside so that you can drive off. He looks at Cynthia. Shotgun! <laughs> I thought, Wait, I was, I thought that's where Apex oh. was. No, I sit in the back. I just have my head out the window. <clears throat> do, do you mind if Dave rides in the front, Elvin? Hmm? Oh. I mean... He did call shotgun. Uh, oh, you know what? That yeah. You know what? With everything, yeah, absolutely. Go on in there, Dave. You get it. You go on. Well, if you insist. But I do want a window seat. Absolutely. It is so uh, nice. It is so nice to go ahead and feel the breeze. Guess I'm in the middle again. If you we want... survive, I promise you get shotgun on the way back. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. I'll hold you to it. Louise, do you want the window? <laughs> nah, it's fine. Just let me get in there before you squeeze me in. Fantastic! Woo! <laughs> and you start up your car. I assume. And, yes. Oh, sorry. 
I thought that was a statement, not a question. <laughs> yes. And you... Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. We forgot to get the stuff of the old man, though. Well, We could have the... gotten it here. Stuff for... What do you mean we could have gotten it here? There are Meyer lurks here? No, like, he wanted stuff to rebuild the boat, remember? We no, made he, a list. Got all the he got all the stuff to rebuild the boat already. He just wants the Meyer lurks to be eliminated. Did he? I thought he asked mm -hmm. us if we were we he, had the time to get a few things. He needed stuff to repair the boat, and he also needed the Mirelurks taken care of. He needs wood, wood varnish, oh. nails. He needs... To, and then we need to clear out the Mirelurks on the way back to helping yeah. him. So um, we're going to need all those materials. Oh, but please. for us to get those materials from them, okay, we're fair likely going to yeah. have to do this favor first. Well, they have a lot of quest design. Like, they're probably all in the same area as the Meyer work, so. Uh, <laughs> you should just go out into the forest and punch enough trees to get the wood. That is one of the ways you can do it. I feel like Thanks, Apex has a double meaning with that. Where was he again? He was in, uh... Apex in Riverside. Training arc. He was in... Uh, he was, oh, he was uh, specifically outside of Riverside. Specifically in the Lewis and Clark Museum, right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we've already... And the Mirelurks that he was talking about that are the problem in the river are about where? They're the ones that I was studying. Near Earth City. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be later down the road anyway. But the ones is that there I anything... a bunch of corpses, too. Yes. Oh, God, that's right. Those those ghouls are still there, too. Should we check on? We could probably check on them, too, when we do the Mirelurks shit. Well, they, yeah, went back well... To the, they went back to the airport, I thought. Yeah, they all went back to the airport. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they left because one of them was, like, in control of the other ones. As far as you're aware... As far as we're aware, they went. Ah, well, Louise sort of, <laughs> Louise sort of contents herself in the middle, and sort of, sort of leans up to Cynthia and goes, "So what are we doing then? Sounds like maybe we got time to do a few things before heading out to that vault." Well, was there anything else we needed to take care of in particular? Anybody? No, I've got anything else I can think of uh, that I need to. taken care of. Well, the old man, I suppose. Well, that's gonna be a... Okay, above game, I feel like the way Connor was phrasing it, he really was telling us, do side quests before you go off on this. I'm saying you've got time to do side quests. This isn't an immediate thing that you need to do. Oh, yeah, the, okay. the super mutants aren't going anywhere. Okay, okay. Uh, there is no rush, but there are benefits and detriments to doing doing things at certain times. Right. We're okay. Aside from the old man and the Meyer Lurk situation, what else was there? Uh, getting what's uh, his face the, out of jail. Uh, the top of Wigo girl. Oh, right, her, too. She, where yeah, is she shown again? I, I think last this is you, in my notes where... Last you heard, she was in Westport. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was in Westport, Hagen too. Westport. Oh, yeah. We just didn't really look for her. Yeah, none of you looked specifically for her, so... I mean, it was her. tough, too. And, okay, so the Tapawago girl, the Toby... Mirelurk, old man. What other what other things were there to take care of? Do we have more business in Clayton, or were we pretty much done with that for now? I think we're good with Clayton. What was it specifically we needed to do for the the rebellion? Oh, we're waiting. They they sent an emissary to the yeah. uh, arena arena to see if they could get the oh that's right uh, we um schematics for the thingy. We were also kind of, well, not really needed to, but we were waiting for word from Big O to see how he fared. I think that's related, yeah. Did mm -hmm. we have a way to radio? Nah, my thing's boss one way. Man? One I think, way. Yeah, I think Boss Man could get in touch with me, but we can't get in touch with him. You, so know, certain should... you know certain frequencies, so if you find a radio out there in the wild, then you could certainly... Tap into it, and I mean, Wait, I know our vault has one. We have a radio in the car. 
Not a, not a, but not a, not that kind radio. of radio. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, the I only two radios that. I can Dick think radio. of is like, <laughs> yeah. The only two radios I can think of we know of is the one in Riverside and the one at my vault because my sister's people had one. Right. Mm. Specifically, a long range, uh, a long range radio. Hmm. How long did did Point Man have any idea how long it was going to be? to get to Lambert and check in and everything, or? Um, just, never just really decided on that. gauging off of... Like... Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, he also made it sound like he might stick around there if he liked what they were selling. Based <laughs> off of your own, uh, your own travel on foot, you could likely guess that it would, it would only take him about like a day to get to and from Riverside to Lambert. Oh, you know what else? We haven't looked at the Science Center, and we didn't look at Forest Park yet. It's true. You want to scavenge so bad, don't you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Plus, if Forest Park is a forest, we could get wood stuff there, too. All right, fine. We'll go Artists to the zoo. Minecraft style. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd forgotten about it. I didn't forget. I just remembered I when I said it. Uh -huh. I just know that Apex was really excited to see the forest park, but we couldn't because it was dark, and then the science center was right there, and it's fine, sort of like fine, fine. You know, Cynthia is totally the mom that orders a black coffee and screeches away from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Apex right. is the kid that rolls out of the window. Oh, God. Happy meal, happy All right. meal, happy meal, happy meal. Black We're going to drive Ow! towards Forest Park and demolish some of the black squares along the way. There you go. Because Apps. it drives me insane. We're off-roading. That I can't see what's there. All right. Thank I know God. it's dangerous. I've been sitting on that for like months. Every time I've like, I see this strip like over here, it, it, it and I'm like, mm -hmm. like, I know, I can't take <laughs> it. Connor, you've made this very difficult for the completionists in here. Lol. It's how dare take you? That, Gerard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they could take that. You laugh. Uh, you laugh at my pain. Be bearded motherfucker. Be I imagine you'd meet him and both your beards would growl at each other. Oh my god. Oh, he's, very, oh, he's very, very, he's a real nice guy. He is. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can only imagine hearing like beetles if he enters a room that I'm in. Like, I'm like, it's, he looks yeah, it, gentle. It's <laughs> been year. it's been years, but I, I went to Indie PopCon with him and the Black Nerd and um, Brizzy Voices, and they basically kind of adopted me for the weekend, and I was like, that yay! Right. Amazing. Fuller. For now, we drive. Yes. <laughs> Reveal the blocks! Yes. All right. Decimate the blocks, Connor. Get rid of them. <gasps> Soon it shall all be revealed. Oh, there's also something underneath that, isn't there? Ooh, ooh, I think it's ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, so my God. So, park and the so you're typing? With your, with your greater goal in front of you, you decide that for now you'd rather take care of some things in the home front. And so you pull out, you turn around, and you head back from whence you came. Just imagine him watching, and he's just watching. It's like, uh, now they'll head off. There they go. And, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going? It's free. Finally. Free the squares. We're wanting to get these two down here as well. Just... You may as well. I mean, we may as well. We're gonna you know, do donuts. Since, yeah. For like a few square blocks. Goes up because that's when they were de deciding where they were gonna go, and then dips down to be like, "Well, we'll just we'll just pass Boom. the science center." It's so fucking are we nothing. To the science center? After we're not, forest we're, park? we're going to the forest park, but we're passing the science center, so we. Can oh, we are gonna go to the science center at some point. Eventually, right? but okay, we're gonna do yes. that after the forest park. Okay, fine, fair enough. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so your path is you're taking is like up here. Yes. Sure. All righty. Show me. Come on. 
We only got 10 minutes left. Let's get in. I I, I, I don't think uh, I don't think I have a horse in this race, so I'm along yes. for the ride, Connor. <laughs> you Do pull it. back into the other way. You pull back into Forest Park. The mm -hmm. sort of old cordoned off area full of myriad of uh, old museums and other historical uh, places. What kind of museums? Best kinds. Wait, is this where the shoe factory is? Uh... <laughs> I don't believe so, no. It's one of my fondest memories of St. Louis. <laughs> the, the shoe factory? The the shoe factory museum with all the weird shit in it. <laughs> no, that's in... That's in... Was that in... Not St. Louis? I, like, it, I remember it was like when we went to Anime St. Louis is when we saw that place. So it, was... oh, it definitely would be... Uh... Yeah, it's not ringing any bells for me. All right. Well. Maybe it didn't survive the apocalypse. Not Maybe. Would. Shoes would be a hot commodity. But you enter the large area. The large park. The sprawling, sectioned off Plots of dead grass and browned leafless trees. Bent over and broken lamp posts, cracked cement. And large, empty stretches of land surround you in the middle of Forest Park. Bastion is enjoying the uh, space with his head out the window. Enjoying what, quote-unquote, nature there is in this wasteland. Damn, when you're driving through all this and you barely see a single building, looks like it just goes on forever and ever. They used to be green before. Long it's ago. mighty pretty, too. Hmm. I wonder what it would be like if we could make it all green again. Well, maybe we'll have the chance to find out. I still can't believe that. It almost sounds like magic, you know what I mean? Very well could be. <laughs> well, if Baker's a wizard, I think he would have told us beforehand. I think that's I think that's something wizards have to do. Bastion's head pops back in. Wait, wizards are real. <laughs> Cynthia well, smiles. Then, well, yes. if you if you said aliens were real, I don't think why wizards could be real at this point. Wizards are science. Magic is wizards. That's exactly. I, I guess you could see it that way. <laughs> Did <laughs> hang on? Did Apex and Dave just have a like? Oh my God! Yes, moment with each ba other. Ba yeah, Bastion. Bastion just kind of like nods, like agreeing. See, he knows. Huh. <laughs> I've never this thought of it like that. It. This guy gets it. <laughs> so where are we stopping in Forest Park, then? Uh, I assume we're not just going to take in the scenery. Uh, you said there were places that we could go visit in Louise Kinn's Cabbage. There are places that you can go visit. There is the Forest Park Fountain. There is the St. Louis Art Museum. Uh, there is the St. Louis Zoo. Very famous zoo. Uh, that takes up most of the lower middle portion of Forest Park. There's a Korean War Memorial.
And there is a planetarium. Ooh. Uh, I like the art museum and the planetarium at the moment. I mean, I'm Alvin's, sure we could check them all out. Alvin's going to point toward the planetarium. There's probably a lot of good stuff in that. Yeah. Looks like a bunch of weird bits and bobs attached to that one. You know, it's been on my mind for ages now, so I kind of want to do it just as a lark. Do you know that meme that's been floating around with the guy holding the phone and the girl leaning over him? She's like, she wants to order. <laughs> no, you're going to have to show me that one. Louise is going to do this. She's going to lean over Alvin and be like, what, over there? Uh, yeah, no, that, yeah, over there. Oh. I'm not oh, sure what that thing is. Cynthia but. stares as Louise All right, has leaned over Just so you can understand Alvin. this. So you can understand this, uh, uh, um, Rabbit, Czech mm. General. Uh, a bunch of people have been doing fan art to it. I already know what's All happening right, look here. here. I'm, here's a, here's a, and it, it's pretty much the gist of it. This is a, what Louise is doing. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Cynthia's no, eyes oh, yeah, shoot no, upward. Yeah, she's getting a gander at where you're pointing. You're just like, oh, okay, yeah. Can we go there? I don't see why we couldn't. Cynthia has stopped function and is just staring at them like... And we just ran tell, into a tree. Tell me. <laughs> no, no. We've, we're have we're we're in park right now deciding where to go. Cynthia's just staring at them like, feel that oblivious? Oh, we're still in the car? Yeah. Are we yes. there? If, uh, uh, we we are in that large expanse where I mean, we are we're we driving through and deciding where to go. I would say you're you're just parked in front of the the forest park fountain. Yeah, very nice. Look at some uh, nice placid water. Uh, you see a a large uh, a large structure. Well, not a large structure. A medium sized structure past the uh, past the grand basin fountain. I was going to say, if we were out of the car, Bastion's already walking towards the zoo, immediately intrigued, and is not paying attention to anything else. Well, I guess we're headed towards the zoo first. <laughs> Apex just tuck and rolled out the door. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Well, maybe we'll go to the zoo, zoo first. Okay. Sounds good for me. I mean... Quince at Louise and Alvin. I still want to go ahead and find out what the heck that thing's supposed to be, as I pointed at the planetarium. But where Apex just jumped off to, there's probably some good stuff to be found there. And I mean, if we're gonna go on to Vault Forty, we definitely go. We definitely got to go ahead and just make sure we are loaded for Death Claws. Honestly. He's gonna find something to fight there. I yeah. can feel it if in there's my me circuits. Yeah, we'll now. be surprised if there's some mutants there. So, um, if we're parked, then Louise will sort of just sort of reach for that door handle, pop it open, and sort of just sort of get, climb out over Alvin. Just be like, yeah, get yeah, going just after him. Out. <laughs> Does her own little tuck and roll, just like whoop. Hey, go. Hey, wait for me now. And wait for me go. now, Miss Louise. Come on. <laughs> over, I'll race you there. Maybe we might be able to go ahead and get a show in. I think we're both raising Apex in that in that case. Oh, I'm just walking. <laughs> Cynthia as soon as, as, soon as I see Dave. you guys running, I would, maybe. Cynthia looks at Dave and just drives to the zoo and lets them all walk. Who's <laughs> 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 like, so hey. not driving that Cynthia's just like, right, they're not... This is all new to them. Y'all okay. wanted to walk, so by all means, have a good walk. Well, Dave and Cynthia obviously beat everybody there, but... Or do they? You know, I, you know. Yeah, go ahead and roll that body, Apex. Go ahead and roll it. Are you faster than the Corvega Blitz? You know what? Are you? I will. I will roll that yeah. body. Please, I, go that, for that, it. That, that, that. No, yeah. I am not faster than a car. Wait, yeah. doesn't, doesn't the car have to roll? Nope. It's a, it's a car. The car, is a, the car is an automobile. But, 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 but it I, should the roll. The car's not going to give out like a had, body I, would. The only way it might have had to roll is if I got, like, double sixes. Yeah. Sarah, don't make this hard for me. What if they do have to roll and they roll bad? I'm the mechanic. I gotta fix that. <laughs> well, that's 
if yeah. Louise just, well, that's if Cynthia just drives it into a, a tree or something. No. The, the, as far as I'm aware, the, the fastest a human being has ever run is 27 miles per hour. Yeah, you ain't touching. A mild breeze to the humble rad cheetah. Fine. I, will, I, I will say it is quite possible that the road here is not best fit for a car right now. It might be covered in debris, so you might have to drive more carefully, so etc. Either way, eventually yeah. you all meet up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Eventually you all meet up. Uh, outside of a uh, interesting structure. As you pass by, you see raised red stone walls uh, and uh, teal metal roofed buildings that lead down into an area that you cannot see. And adorning the outside of this place is a cement structure clearly spelling out the word zoo. Bastion smiles under his mask. And he has heard and read so much about these. And you see and I'm gonna go ahead and just link this image in the Discord so you can see where you're at. A vertical spelling of the word oh, zoo carved out of honest. cement and stacked on top of each other, worn with age, cracked and damaged by rain over time. If it had worn enough for the foundation to fall, it could have just said no. <laughs> <laughs> no. We've made it to the no. God damn it. God. And fucking. <laughs> That's so. I'm upset because I didn't think of it, okay? As you settle in to take a trip through what was at one point in time considered to be uh, one of the finest zoos in the country, that well, is where we're going to end the session. For this week. Yay! Yay! Goodbye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I think it's considered the, the best free zoo in America. Oh, well, it's a free? free zoo? Yep. They it's have those? A, there's not enough of those. Wow. I'm coming for you, chat. There's best a giant eyeball. Ah, 38. 38. Best zoo I've ever been to is in Melbourne, I think. I think the best zoo I've been to was the uh, San Diego Zoo. I could see that. All right. The thing, the thing with it saying no, God, that's so clever. Fucking no. <laughs> you can't have them all, Rabbit. I know. All right. Well. <laughs> fucking good. Hope you enjoyed the session, everybody. Absolutely. I hope you had I a did. good old time. All right, well, uh, we should go down the horn and uh, do our outros. Caitlin, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. Hi. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Among Us with some of the cast of Cookie Run Kingdom tomorrow oh, night at 5.30 uh, PT. And on Monday, we should be on for some more uh, Ties That Bind. Roll with me uh, over on Lanny Patur. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. That that mm. that, that fellow. Um, uh, also with Connor and Shadow Dancer Bob and Tonka. Yeah. Uh... I uh brain. No more. Soul Hackers 2. Play it. If you find me. Take a video, please. Because I have no idea what my character looks like. Just know she's a demon. 
and maybe she'll help you or not. That'll narrow it down. Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Up next, we got Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Where do you? Uh, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Hey there, Connor. How you doing? Hey, I'm Rabbit. I'm a writer and a comedian. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, I stream throughout the week. Uh, my wheelhouse is uh, retro games like RuneScape, uh, RPGs like uh, Grand U2 and the games of yesteryear, and I also love horror games. Uh, I play. I've been doing this thing where I play uh, horror games on Thursday with uh, uh, with Sarah. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's been uh, it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. Um, I uh, I do uh, I do that. Also, another service that I do, uh, in addition to making people laugh, laugh with uh, funnies, is uh, I also have a uh, little writing business I've uh, made up. If you need anything proofread, or you need some ideas, or you want me to help you storyboard, or you need a song written, I'm great at ghostwriting for songs. Uh, I've already wrote, written songs for two campaigns and one VTuber, so. I didn't know you did that. I'm a lyricist and a poet. <laughs> My minor was English, so um so if you need anything like that, uh just DM me on my Twitter, hey Mr. Rabbit, or just uh just pop me a line and uh we we can go ahead and get something suited up. So if you wanna laugh, if you wanna be ludicated, if you want writing, I am your one stop shop for all that. And if you want RuneScape, <laughs> we always got RuneScape. <laughs> All right, so thank you, hey, Mr. Rabbit. Have yourself a good one. All right. Lenny Pator, where can they find you, and what are you up to? I'm all over the internet at Lenny Pator. Twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Not streaming a whole lot right now. Still catching up on a bunch of stuff for work. But on Monday, if you're not all role-played out over here, feel free to tune in, because we've got a little campaign called The Ties That Bind. It's a... Uh, It's a fun time right now, trying to learn the art of diplomacy with a uh, potentially aggressive neighbor to the north moving in, uh, may or may not be filled with demons. So yeah, see how how all that cracks out. Five o'clock central time, twitch.tv slash Lanny Vitor. That's me. All right, Sarah, where can they find you and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H, with an e. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, I've already shilled, but uh, yeah, uh, all goes blend. Me and Rabbit will uh, stream some stuff again Thursday. Absolutely, yeah, 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 I can go ahead and do it. Let me know. Yeah, that's it. I'm just trying to. Yeah. I am melting with people so well. We're starting to share a brain cell. It's true. <laughs> it's like what happened with me and Connor. It'll happen to you. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> All right. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, most days. Uh, still playing some more Legacy of Kane. That'll be happening tomorrow. Uh, and Suspiria? S- 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 n- no. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Uh, be sure to check out my uh, DMs Guild. I release 5th edition subclasses, including the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger, which is in production right now. Uh, yes. Uh, and also, uh, the stream is brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Uh, let Finally! You all know. Die Hard Dice! That's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for die, uh, for dice and dice accessories. Head on over to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point to save 10% on your order when you shop at dieharddice.com. Uh, and I'm letting you all know that that code will not be valid after the 31st. So get your Die Hard Dice now. Use uh, it now, quickly, before savings then you can vanish. Roll what a, then you can roll what a TV dinner feels like. Hello. Uh, 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 quickly, <laughs> use the code. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I love my comedy setup of props. 
All right, and with that, we've got some bits and stuff to read off. We've got. Oh. Um, what do we got? Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 300 bits. Hello! This episode of Gateway is brought to you by Pepper! Pepper Yay! loves Gateway! You watch Gateway! Oh, God. <laughs> I've missed her. I'm gonna have to do a lot of that to... Are they all gonna be sound like her? Oh! Oh, Connor! And you've oh, we all sound boy. the same! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, men Connor, and, yes, you men and women the alike, they all, they all sound hard. like that. You First time the ghoul skin. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you chose what this a life for dick. yourself. <laughs> this is the, uh, a, a, a gauntlet that my voice has to get run through. Uh, Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. Uh, vault filled with super mutants? I would like to send my level 79 Brotherhood of Steel character with my infinite Gatling laser. That might do the trick. Who knows? I might do it. Grumpy Dungeon Masters, thank you for rating with a party of five. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Can't wait for them to get to the vault and all of the super mutants yell their lines like Hank. Have fun voicing that, Connor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flying T-Bar C, thank you for the two-person uh, raid. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 500 bits. How many stim packs does it take to get to the center of where Super Mutants, uh, of the Super Mutants pop? World may never more, than, more than they can count. Uh, and Abe the Peanut Babe, thank you for the 13 months. 13 months, thank you all for the amazing months of Unexpectables, Damn. Prince Division, and Gateway. Aww. All right. Aww. And with that, we gotta take this party somewhere. I gotta close gotta all these take tabs. This party. Why are we gonna take this party, Connor? I don't know. Oh, you should find a partner. Find partner. yourself a find find yourself a uh, uh, pardon find yourself parcel. A streamer. Find yourself a little streamer. Find yourself a little streamer right there, Connor. <laughs> Uh, find yourself a little streamer. Gotta go ahead and give him the little activity pass and put it in there. We've got theropod art. Dinosaur friend. We could go raid Theropodar. Yeah, Ooh. let's raid Theropodar. Theropodar. Theropodope. Yeah, Theropodope. Theropodart. Oh, God, he's gonna hate that one. Thank God I, thank God I learned that. Theropodope. Ooh, like it. <laughs> our raid message our raid message will be we want pepper pepper we pepper. want pepper we want we pepper, want pepper. <laughs> he's gonna show up and save us like a, like a miracle he's like <laughs> need hand he just throws a <laughs> fucking missile into him <laughs> I am here to save you. <laughs> Immediately, do not resist. Oh God! He just runs <laughs> past don't us, grabs your pepper. Salvation. <laughs> he just runs past us, grabs pepper that somehow, like next to Vault Forty, and runs away. <laughs> oh boy! Alrighty, well, this uh -oh. is my arc. <laughs> <laughs> This is my time to shine! <laughs> Alright, everybody. Take care. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out, everyone. Bye. Have a good night!